I don't really like posting snippets and shit because I feel like a lot of people always, they tend to get my shit, you know? Like, most of the fucking, like, artists and shit that are around, like, you could hear Uzi's flow on damn near everybody's shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, the- Oh, we smoking today. Damn. Oh. Damn, so you guys are not take- with that, you guys aren't with the smoking shit? Well, with me, you are for sure. Oh, well. <laughs> so, they're into the drinking and nah, the we like, partying. We like to drink. Can we take shots instead? Yeah, nope. can we take shots? Nah, nope. dude, right, look, trust, what's it's a that? special. It's a special thing. Nope. You, you take... Hey, bro, I'm on your show today, all right, bro? I bet. Hey, what kind of munchies do we, like, get after this, you know? He's already thinking about eating. You haven't even taken a dive. <laughs> you guys take such a long break. Wait, how you guys drop music in a minute? Yeah, it's, that's a good question. <laughs> 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 Last, I wonder, you guys are dropping that... The last album with Rancho? Yeah, this And then from there, you guys are like completely free? Independent. <laughs> <laughs> what happened between the situation between uh, HP Records and um, Three Player in LA? Well, they really wanted something that, that wasn't there, you know? There's been a, a lot of comparisons with this specific artist. I'm pretty sure you know who he is. Tony Loya. What is your honest opinion about this other artist that people could, I guess, compare yeah, we'll you to? Name. But like, I know you guys are different but there's definitely some influence there no yeah similarity. for sure <clears throat> honest opinion i could see how people like would be comparing him to me but what's up guys welcome to season two the very first episode the reason why we're doing this intro is because we were supposed to do an episode before herencia de patrones one but you guys have been asking for this episode. You guys have been texting us like every single day. Yeah, High demand. Dude. We couldn't make you guys wait any longer, so we're like, fuck it, let's drop it. As you guys can tell, we have a different set. And honestly, it's a whole fucking vibe. We put a lot of work into it. We did record an episode. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> we put a lot of work. Hey, shout out to Maximilio, Angel's dad. He oh, yeah, shout out to Angel's dad. dad. He helped us with everything. Everything. Shout out <laughs> to my boy. I know you be. <laughs> I know you be. <laughs> I know we're gonna <laughs> nah. it. But as you guys can tell, it's complete on the episode. It wasn't complete, but it's a whole ass vibe. Like I said, thank you guys for all the support. Season two is gonna be another fellow, and like my boy said, ah, ouch. No, I guys, I got nervous. Sorry. Oh my oh god. My god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We going. We yeah, going. Yeah, going. Yeah, going. Yeah, going. Enjoy the Arisa Batones podcast, guys. Peace out. Peace out. Oh, who's the merch? Wait, oh, wait, wait. Hey, awesome, guys. Hey, All right, guys, we're giving away two tickets to the Slavon Armado concert at the Toyota Arena on Friday, the 12th of August. That's right, guys. We're going to get late at the Slavon Armado. So, we're going to choose two winners. Give away two tickets so they could bring a plus one so you could bring your friend if you win. We're going to fly you guys in. We're gonna take the boyfriend, the but the Bring way to link. get into the contest is by so buy your merch. merch. We have some hoodies mostly. We have some shirts, shirts. I think. Get you lada. So you have you're watching this on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. That's the only three days to enter. Yeah, until Wednesday to buy until merch. Wednesday. So those people will get put into a raffle, a raffle yeah. to win. So we were gonna win. You got two tickets. So you and the plus one. Make sure you buy your hoodies. We hand made these with our own hands. We didn't just send them out like other no, people. So make sure you buy them. It's hot as hell right now, but don't get caught lagging when it gets cold. Yeah. And buy hopefully we boot. see you there. We see you there. And like my boy always says, and I will stop. Cha cha. All right. All right. You guys hear the music in the back? So we're about to start season two. Ready? Someone Check comment down below who mm. you think they are. We about to start season two. Yeah. Right now. Right now. But the set is not done yet. But. It's what is yeah. it? Uh, what is that word you were using? It's a what? It's a provisional set in the meantime, but we got everything ready. We got some big plans for these walls, but in the meantime, this is like a teaser. A little teaser. A little be, teaser was coming. Angel two. likes to be teased. Yeah. <laughs> he, that's what we call him the teaser and the stiff socks right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, but season two, a whole new look. I think that we have falta, we have falta. We're, well, yeah, well, we're getting but I think, pet. but not only the like you know the set being improved and all that. I think we all got a little bit better, especially me compared to the when first I started. One? Yeah, you improved a lot. Yeah, know? yeah. I feel like we're more organized for sure. We're getting like, a, a pet too. Yeah, I we're getting like, a pet. I feel like you want to say the name that you came up with. What is it? What is once, the name? once you introduce. No, no. Once we introduce. Them. But there was a name. Ten ten. Fire. Fire. It, it has to do anything with the gusto. It has to do. Yeah. All right, bad. Then it's gonna be a good name. Then. Yeah. Were you asking just because you were asking, or like you actually don't know the answer? No, I actually don't know the answer. You're an idiot. <laughs> Do you not pay attention to? Yeah, what you don't pay saying? attention. Yeah, but guys, comment down below what you guys think of this new setup. You know, now we got these. You know, couches. 
I think it's a different vibe. I like it more. There's a little what bit. Of I'm nervous for today. Me too. The guest got it's, a, it's a lot of new things. <laughs> yeah, Not yeah. Because he told us the guest oh, yeah. threatened us. <laughs> oh, he did. He did. He <laughs> was like, y'all not actually scared. scared. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't scared until like now. So now I'm like, fuck. Yeah. All so right, guys. I'm yeah, but I think something cool about this episode <laughs> is going to be that, you know, some, you know, somebody could go to a, a place, you know, a show, whether it, whatever it be, but, you know, the person might not know. Or not, might not be a fan, you know, like like for real, for real. So they might just ask like regular questions. But in this case, you know, the, we person, fans. the person that's coming on, like, you know, I remember, you know, when I didn't know him and I would like bump the album, like <laughs> from start to finish, you know, now you do like a few times. Bumping. I did it for all the <laughs> albums, like a few times a week when they came out. <laughs> so I think, hey, I think it's something special. I'm going to just say this grupo, super influential and of what it is now. <clears throat> Brought a new way to this type of music. New wave. Today, we have a special guest from Yuba City. They are the known city. for their unique sound, unique flow, unique lyrics. They dropped a song called Cosas de la Clica back in 2018, <laughs> and that song changed their lives. We have here Herencia de Patrones. Clica shit. Whole lot of what? Whole lot, Whole lot of, of clica shit. Even my mom says okay, it. You can leave that <laughs> over there, bro. So thank you for coming on. You can leave that. You can leave that. We don't. Hey, bro. Thank you for coming, bro. There's no smoking in here. It's an honor. Oh, it's an honor. Oh, yeah. It's a non-smoking it, area. What are we smoking today? Damn! Yeah, and everywhere. Let's get it. I'm gonna just say it feels a little, a little bit surreal, cause like I said, we were all, we were all influenced by this grupo. Cause me and Diego are musicians. If you guys didn't I was, know, I was, I was. He was a musician. I'm a musician. I forget that I'm a musician. <laughs> Angel is currently fixing up JD's mic. For Mike, hey, let's slow down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> like, two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Damn, I'm scared. I'm scared now. I forgot my questions and I didn't hit it. Fuck, bruh. Hey, somebody help me out. Uh, it it just folds down and then up if you like want this? to like forward. Yeah. Bop 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 bump. Yeah. yeah. You want that headphones? Damn that sh that watch. <laughs> I never seen one like that in person. Look at mine. I got the Apple Watch. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah that's that's right. as long as you can hear it, we're good. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, Damn, but <laughs> that mic's gonna be smelling. That's cool. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you. All right, what you smoking, bro? All right, this uh, uh, Razzle Dazzle by my boys from Pressure. Shout out my boy Chris. Yes, sir. We out here. Pressure HP Talk merch coming soon. Yes, sir. At a place, Pressure. You guys better be ready for that. Can you speak I, a little bit more like. You gotta uh, tell your mom, like, you know, shoot a little bit of cash for this drop because it's gonna be something special for sure. Yes, sir. Ma, get it. Escucha, I'm actually, I'm actually not going to be my mom watch this episode. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, don't uh, watch that no. one. This is the only one you can't watch. I know. I should do the... Angel's already high. No, we're nervous. <laughs> we're nervous because we had like a whole thing set up and, you know, we had all these questions set up too. But then he said, um, you know, he brought a... What is it called? A, a rig? Oh, yeah. I brought the good Darby. Uh, yeah, the good Darby, Darby and to take like dabs and stuff. And he said, depending <laughs> how juicy the question is... You know, depending how, like, much of, a, you know, how many dives we have to take. So now we're kind of scared because, you know, my mom doesn't know this either. Hopefully she's not watching. But, um, <laughs> she watches I, I, met you, I met you a few times before, you know, because I saw Babe. And uh, one time uh, you had, like, that thing set up and you're like, oh, we should, like, try it out. You know, and I didn't say no. <laughs> and I, I did it. How was the experience? How was the experience? It was, like, this will put it, it was just, like, one regular hit, you know, yeah. like. And what's a regular hit though like in <laughs> like i don't know i don't even form. think i inhaled you know i was scared <laughs> and i just he was like <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah like that and then five minutes later i was just like laying down didn't you get a video i know that's the thing that i was telling him i got a video that's when i was started like vlogging first and uh i just couldn't find the clip <laughs> i don't know what happened to i looked through all the hard drives all the memory cards Damn, no way I mean, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but it was it's a lot like it's very intense for somebody that doesn't no, that is not used that. to that no if you don't smoke and i give you a dab you're going for show i was about to fall asleep out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. my boy right here he's not he's not a you know what i'm saying he's not a beginner so ah, uh, he's he's a beginner. Beginner. Yeah. Interesting experience, experience. Yeah. i know it was it was a cool experience because you were saying like those things are really expensive like as you said it was like 20k something like that and then like yeah. the some of them yeah some of them are yeah, like the little, what are they called? The the little things where the wax comes in? Is that what it's called, wax? The turp slurper? Oh, the turp the slurper. The turp slurper. It was just tough. I, I was yeah, falling asleep. The little accessories, everything. That shit is expensive for sure. 
Being no getting parties. in the heady scene is 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 expensive. I think but you yeah, were saying we, we uh, better we better bring out something special right now for sure for you guys. <laughs> oh. You said 135k for a custom rig, right? Like a handmade. Custom well, it rig. depends on like what artists and everything. But to be honest, rigs go from anywhere from a thousand to fucking 250. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I've seen one rig go for, like in person. Then imagine you let your homie grab it and he drops it. Exactly. No, he's not your homie. I'm no gonna more. drop it on purpose just to know. <laughs> 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 you gonna have to pay up, my boy. Twenty k, no double Babe. shit, cause that shit going up in price already. Yeah, but well, you know, thank you so much for ha- taking the time. You know, all of you guys, you know, you guys will see the rest of the guys right now. Uh, taking the time to come on here. Thank you for being the first first guest, guest of season, season two. I know. So shout Something out to the special. whole HP team, the one that made this happen, that gave us the opportunity. Appreciate you guys for having mm-hmm. us here. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know. A lot oh, of people have uh, you know, been wanting to hear from you guys. Yeah. It's been a minute. We've been fucking just out vacationing and shit for a good minute. Yeah. How long, how long did the, the vacation key. last? I don't even know, bro. A while, I'm huh? Honest, yeah. But I've been working. Like, we've been working just on the low key, you know. We just don't post much. I don't really like posting snippets and shit because I feel like a lot of people, always they tend to get my shit, you know. Like... La tonada, yes. Yeah, say? las tonadas and everything, you know. So I don't like posting no snippets or nothing. Mm. But I got hella music. Like, so you're like, oh, this new song is out. Yeah, we got hella music ready for you guys. I remember when I met you the first time, you said you write every day. Yeah. Like, you really write every day. Like, you wrote today. Yeah. And yesterday. Not for sure. Like, if, if it's not like a full song, it's like a couple of lyrics or something, mm-hmm. you know. But every day is something new. It has to be, you know. Like a little something. Just to, just be, just to be progressive, you know. Do you have yeah. like a little notepad or on your phone? Yeah. Notepad, notepad, phone, whatever. Whatever yeah. is accessible to me. Damn. I think last time we saw you, there was like a little notepad. I think that's how that yeah, conversation I switched, started. I switched to like, to, to fucking libretas and shit because, I don't know, I find it like easier in a way because like I've managed to like see how it's structured, you know, mm-hmm. like the, the way that the phone can't put it. Like, I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, I get you. Like, you just have like your own little style. Yeah, exactly. Damn. But but before, like, we talk about why you guys have been gone. You know, I know you guys have been dealing with problems and you know just typical like business and musical stuff. I want to get into how you know Edit and Tell the Patrones has like come about, how they started, where you guys from, and who created it. Who created it? You know, who? You know, I want to know everything from the beginning. You know, so we could kind of like create this. Kind of go like in a timeline, huh? Kind of like a timeline, cause yeah. you guys yeah. are like these superstars. You know, obviously of the people out there that are watching, know you guys are superstars. But there's people out there that don't, perhaps don't know and want to know, like the beginning yeah. and how it started. Because I remember, well, before I forgot everything after I took that dab, um, <laughs> you were you were saying I can't remember who you were saying, but you were you were saying how you were telling Raul like, oh, you know, I got this songs and it's gonna work out. Oh yeah. Um, I can't remember Story. that he was gonna go somewhere. The Marines. Oh, the Marines. He was going to the Marines. Are you told him, like, yeah. don't do it. I told him, nah, he can't. We're going to make it in this music. This was Dead before, ass. This was before we had Blight 420. This was before we had any song, like, literally, like. So, like, this, like, what year was this? What year was it? 2016. Uh, 2016. <laughs> it was a good minute ago. But yeah, we were fucking, we are working. Weren't we working? I think we were working in construction. Damn. Oh, yeah, and then he was he was like already sworn to the military and shit. And I told him, nope. He you're vowed. Not going, you're not going, bro. We're going to make it. You're going to see. Yeah, sure enough, you know. Like, it took like a year or two. But, you know. So both of you guys started it? Yeah. It was me and my brother right here. Bro. And how did Omar and Uzi come in, come about in the group? Uzi, to be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, Omar was like always in and out. Like, not in and out, but like he was with us. But he had his own thing going, you like know. Like tocadas and stuff. Yeah, like he had his own group, you know what I mean? But like he would always be with us like for practices or like little stuff like that, you know, making music and shit. So then he decided to like, you know, really move with us, you know, because I really offered him something, everybody in my group, you know, like yeah. already knowing, you know, like, yo, we could make something big. Like I already know the sound, how it's going to go and everything. Like, you know, we could get it cracking for sure. And, and who was the enough. one that came up with the name? Yeah, that's uh, a really unique role. name. It was Raul. We're fucking... Oh. Were you, weren't you there, Omar? I think we were all there. I literally wrote my first song right there, like, in fucking... Probably, like, 10 minutes, bro, or some shit like that. Like, some stupid fast shit. Like, is that, it out or not? Nah. We never released it or nothing, but it's just a song I had. And I think Herencia de Patrones is a really unique name, too. Thank like, you. it's not, like, just, like, Grupo. But yeah, yeah, grupo. what does it mean, though? Like, because I, I don't know what it means. Yeah, I, th- I think you said it on one interview one time, right? It's because, like, uh, well, my dad... 
and like parents and shit like brothers just like family they i have like family members and shit that play guitar and shit you know mm -hmm. like mu musicians or whatnot and so does Raul. so it's kind of like i feel like in a way this this is it uh like inherited you know? yeah, yeah, yeah just the talent you know what i mean in a way but it's also hard work more than anything yeah and then um how did you guys get into like the guitar playing because i know um the style that you guys bring it's a lot of menores you know yeah i started fucking uh accordion playing accordion first oh, mm. and That's to be honest I, I never i never learned like tonadas or shit like that i would just play along to the ear you know and fucking like like thanks to uzi really like there's reason why i make most of my music like that you know because he's the one that was teaching me all this menores mm -hmm. and mayores and all this shit you know how shit flows and new tonadas and shit to be honest like like uh, you could hella hear it like most of the fucking like artists and shit that are around like you could hear uzi's flow on down near everybody's shit you know what i'm saying like the same the same little sequence you know what i mean and before that like there was no there wasn't that sequence you know what i mean till we established it till we established that two tono or you know that like cosas de la clica tonada you yeah know what i mean like then that's when everybody started using that yeah i could definitely tell that if you, let's just say you get those two chords and you could basically change the melody oh, yeah. and create so much you stuff. could do so much shit with it with yeah, just two sure. chords yeah i menor Wait so, wait, so what do you call this style of music? Like, for example, there's corridos tumbados, corridos bélicos, trap corridos. Like That's difficult. I never really found a name for it, to be honest. I need fucking help from the fans to establish that shit. But y'all know we've been at it since, you know, since the get-go, really telling it how it is. You know, how, like, the people really be living out here, you know, Northern Cali, L.A., just everybody, you know, they really relate, you know, to fucking the East Coast vibe. For sure, and I, I think I see a lot of uh, you know, rap influence with the, with the lyrics, the way you guys dress, um, the music videos. Like I could definitely see that influence, and like where do you, what artist would you say that influenced you to integrate that into the regional? Because it's the first time that it's been done. Mm -hmm. Like you were like the pioneer of that. Damn, there's to be honest, there's hella hella artists, and I'm at West Coast. My phone hella fucking high, already. <laughs> but uh, uh, fucking, there's just a lot of artists really. Just like lyrically or like musically, you know, like instrument instruments and shit like that that have influenced me. Down from Ariel Camacho to fucking Virlan Garcia oh, yeah, that was to good. Legado Siete, you know what I'm saying? Like Arsenal Efectivo. There's like a lot of people who really influenced us, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we managed to make our own thing, you know. Not for sure. It's, it speaks for itself because like it's the first of its thing and then i think it's dope that you guys were able to influence more people like another set of generations oh, yeah, you know what sure. yeah thank you. like a little generation of uh new artists yeah that, mm -hmm. that kind of went with that flow yeah. but it's crazy, yeah, never it's, never it's duplicated. something we would have never thought you know it's just something we just started off as fun and shit and, you know and here we, started we, and we ended up making it a fucking like a career and shit did you guys start with like tocadas on the weekends and stuff? yeah doing covers fucking like six seven hours and shit you remember oh hell no Bro, this is fucking how can you guys for sing like for six a, hours barely anything i don't know how i would do it back then bro like well <laughs> i feel like to be honest back then like i'd be singing corridos and shit that shit's easy to me like i'll sing corridos all day like, yeah but really. these songs are tougher huh? we we're talking about but, a little bit earlier yeah like my songs are like what you see when it's too high of a pitch or some shit and i'm fucking like mo most of my songs are fucking lyric like crazy like there's fucking you know like a thousand fucking words in that motherfucker like and i gotta fucking sing them all like fast or like i can't take a breath like uh, i can't take a break on like you know between some parts and shit so it gets difficult for sure <laughs> my music is like hard like that because i don't i don't do it like structured like in a way like uh how can i say like if i'm doing a flow like this right now i want to switch up the next flow i don't even want it to sound exactly the same as this you know like people usually just get like two flows and that's what they make a whole song with you know what i mean like yeah. I'll, I'll just fucking freestyle the whole thing and make something different yeah it's definitely the the change of the flow is what makes the song like like you know catchy as yeah. fuck oh yeah and i feel like you guys really bring in those those elements into the the sound that's why for sure people would always tell us like 
the fuck is this and shit like you know yeah but when then everybody started hopping on it like yeah at first goes. when you guys came out with the sound was there like haters people that said like what the fuck is this stuff nah, like yeah. that hella for sure Shh. but just like everybody like i knew everybody's gonna hop on the wave hating first and now yeah everybody now something the same <laughs> and then when you guys were on like on your way to like you drinking that yeah or we're gonna ask this um the can here now? on the candle oh yeah the candle oh am I almost done with it oh no I'm not done right here bro it's just a fool's photo it's gonna smell better now get those candles <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say oh yeah well since you guys you know brought this whole movement when did you guys realize like oh shit this shit's taken off yeah like we're on to something we're on to something like I mean or maybe I feel like since the beginning huh yeah I feel like how you said it I feel like since probably like the first r- real song we released, which was Bloody 420, and we got like, that shit did, well for us, when we were starting that shit did numbers, it went up to like 100k, I forgot how long, but we seen 100k, we were like, yo, we did it. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. it, with no uh, label? Yeah, that's, that's it was that. no label, it just, oh actually it was, um, it was Baja Music, or no, I don't even know if we are signed to Baja Music, because it was after. Yeah, I think I think Baha, I think Baha Music came after that. Yeah. To be honest, Blight Four Twenty, I think we we recorded that one. I I think I recorded the the harmonia, and the requinto, and Omar recorded the bass. Yeah. yeah. And, and did you guys, did you guys uh, uh, know yeah. about like having, like that song? was my first time. That was my first time ever in studio. Oh, ever okay. like first time ever working with the fucking metronome. First time ever with anything like on Pro Tools. Period. Like, yeah. And we hard- killed that shit. I ain't gonna lie. We killed that shit. Like. For sure, like five hours, we had that session like complete, and I'm talking about that's our first song, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and did you guys know about like having uh, digital platforms where you guys nah. already like educated in that type of form? No, nah, because obviously you guys are now, you know. Well, we had like I had I had Bloody and like another cousin that were kind of putting me on game, but not really, you know, like just like with certain shit, but n- like not even they were like really informed on everything, you know. Mm-hmm. They were barely getting that shit yeah. going you it know it was just that raw talent at the beginning you guys recorded that song and it just the people did their thing so yeah, you, exactly. youtube did it for you guys for the exactly takeoff. youtube basically did it for us and like fucking all just like all the little promotion sites like instagram and fucking did we have instagram back then yeah we did have i think we had instagram but we weren't like that like popping or nothing like facebook and shit but it did good so we like we put it on chalene emma's channel watch our new window yeah yeah that's when that's when that like everybody so was putting it through yeah, his shit for sure so you drop the yeah. Cosas de la Clica and then Rancho Mille reaches out to you guys? Or how, how does it work? Did you guys reach out to them? Uh, that, that one was the hit, right? I think they had reached Yeah, I think they had reached out already to us, to oh. Bladi. My uh, compa Churro, he, uh, he Churro tapped right? in, yeah, Churro B. He tapped in with uh, Bladi or Bladi tapped in with Churro. I'm not too sure which way it was, but it was, it was one of those ways. And uh, yeah, well, Churro connected us with like you know, with Jimmy and JB and everything, and shit popped off. You know. And then you guys signed to Rancho Mille. Did you guys also sign to uh, Lumbre Music at yeah. the same time? We also signed to Lumbre, yes, in that same moment. Are you guys also signed to Street Mob or just Lumbre? No, it was just, just yeah. Lumbre. And how was that first feeling like when you're like, "Damn, this big label wants to wants to sign us." How did it feel? Mm. Well, it was cool, to be honest. I, I, like it wasn't like all I expected and shit. You know, like I thought I was gonna be something crazier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool. I mean, they make it, they made us feel like you know family and everything. You know, everything was cool. So. And from signing from you know ran- Rancho and the uh, what is it? Lumbre. Lumbre. What were like the first projects that that were done to take you guys' career? Because I know you guys. Cosas de la Clica. Clica. Cosas de la Clica. Yeah, I think yeah. we had it out by ourselves, or I don't remember it too well. But when the, we dropped when we dropped it with them and Fuerza, that's when it took off. Just like that's when and then Ladiando like too, right? More noise, yeah, and Ladiando, and as if he's Santo. Yeah, you yeah. just hear that everywhere. Tracks, like yeah, th- they'd be banging for sure, you know. Yeah, those those live videos, bro, they be they be bumping like all the time at the time, you know. Mm-hmm. And how, how did it feel when, um, like the first fan came up to you and you're like, oh, like we listen to your song, like that's just badass. You start something new. That shit was tight, bro. Like I don't know, even till now, you know, someone comes up to me and tells me shit like that. I still feel the same way as I felt the first day. Damn. You know, it's dope feeling for sure. Have you guys ever had like a someone like try to start shit with you guys or like anything like that, like an altercation? Just like some random people. Yeah, just like some random you run nah. into. Nah, everybody's cool to be honest. 
Mm-hmm. Damn. Everybody just asks for a picture. But yeah. There's some people who do get rowdy, like, you know, if they, like, if, like, yeah, if they're drunk and shit, but nah, not, like, nothing ever out of the ordinary. Everybody's always cool. Are you guys smokers? I mean, uh, are you guys drinkers <laughs> or just smokers? Woozy <laughs> is probably the only real drinker right here. He's drunk right now. And he don't even drink like that, but he's only, like, out of all of us, he's the one that drinks the most, for sure. And he bar- barely drinks, you know? Like, but we used to drink more, like, on tour and shit. Like, when we hop on stage or some shit, you know, we drink with the fans. They give me a bottle. To be honest, most of the times I just give it to them, you know, like, yeah. make them take this shot. Like, fuck. There was one. Because then I get one <laughs> bottle and then everybody starts fucking giving me a bottle. Oh, like, yeah. the whole crowd and shit. I'm like, fuck, how do you expect me to do that shit? Yeah. All right, boom. Take a shot. You take a shot. Oh, everybody take a shot. Don't take any more shots from JD. Let him take the shots. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And how was it when, when, uh, uh, Rancho Mide was like, oh, we want you guys on tour. And you guys joined the SMO tour. Oh, yeah, that was big, too. That shit, yeah, that shit, was, that shit was sick. That was big, too. And, like, we got placed kind of, like, on, a, like, a dope platform, too. Like, you know, like, not, like, the first people up or nothing, you know, like, when it was just going to be, like, a small crowd or anything, you know, we got put up, like, fucking third to last, second to last, you know. Like, we would never get bummed down in it. So that was a dope feeling, you know. For us being like beginners, you know, and like yeah, always yeah. hearing like about, you know, artists like want like fussing about I didn't get to play last and shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like me and personally, I, I don't care. You know, if I'm playing for people, I'm playing for people, you know, like I'm making minds, you know. But if we could give a show something sick mm-hmm. like that, like that's dope, you know, and we're able to get blessed on getting put, you know, on some like with something where with people like already full, you know. Yeah, because yeah. I think sometimes uh, yeah. people do artists do care a lot about where they're placed on the on the time slots, and I mean throughout even just talking about SMO throughout as time passed, you know some people that opened up the show ended up closing it towards the end. Yep. Too, oh so. yeah, like from the beginning. Yeah, because like I remember um, mm-hmm. Fuerza Regi that opened up and uh, yeah, the, we, there was a couple shows at the Microsoft. That. Yeah, there was a couple shows that we did like that too, like. So, like, the artists wouldn't feel some type of way, you know? Like, the artists that would keep going up first, so they would be able to feel, like, you know, what it's like when to perform, mm-hmm. like, when it's all dark and shit. Because usually we would start, like, when the when the sun is out. And then, like, usually, like, the last performance is already when it's hella dark. And it's hella different, bro, because you see hella lights and shit, you know? It looks sick as fuck. There's, like, a different vibe. Yeah. How is it performing? Do you get shy on stage? Or nah, not no more. Probably the first couple of times. Well, like, it's always a rush like about to go up on stage but just like when you're already on stage it's like it's a whole other vibe you know like everyone's like, everyone's like all the five like all the fans get fucking like crazy yeah. like they get hyped you know like you yeah. see some people like fucking with some crazy ass faces to see <laughs> everybody screaming out the top of their lungs and it's dope you know like they're all coming there to see you and shit your group play you know like that's, that's yeah dope. just that that's that feeling thing. of yeah. seeing you know these people that did all this stuff to just be in front of you oh, yeah. and then you just like walk out and they pop-ups or just any little shit like that you know i appreciate everybody that pulls up i stay there for like photos for everybody you know like i try to do that with shows too you know just stay back like at the after the show and shit try to take pictures with as much people as i can but sometimes you know it's physically impossible you know yeah like the fucking people have to close the uh the event. Say the event and shit and they're already like hey you guys gotta go hey i got i got two fucking more songs to go you know nah make it make this your last one and you gotta dip you know because we gotta close up and we gotta get everybody out and shit so yeah yeah but seeing that support possible. in like real life you no, know yeah people it's singing along to your song you know you could just like stand there you play they start playing the song yeah. and they do that that must be like the most amazing shit oh yeah mexico gets crazy for sure uh-huh. Mexico? Yeah, Mexico? Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Just Mexico, Mexico. Yeah. Do you guys, yeah. you guys get scared playing in Mexico? Nah. Well, I mean, nah, not really. Cause I, well, it's just I don't sing for nobody really. I sing for myself. I sing for my people. You know, people I hang out with and shit. Mm. What is yeah. one city uh, you like going to for tour and to perform? Shit, Hello, bro. Fresno, San Francisco, Sacramento, L.A., Texas, Chicago. Fucking New York City, Denver, Colorado, bro. Like the whole U.S. The the list, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna keep on going, bro. Cause I think of some spot, New Mexico. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro. There's some spots that just get crazy, yeah, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. One of the questions said, like, oh, you guys gotta come to Idaho and stuff like that, like everywhere. Yeah, like you know, like it'd be getting lit out there too, for like sure. Alabama. East Coast gets <laughs> lit. You know how to get lit. Yeah. Mexico what? too. Uh, a lot of people. Mexico a lot of people crazy. commented too, like, hey, we want the some. 
the podcast in Spanish too. You guys have a lot of support over there. Oh, Simon, hell yeah. No, What's uh, yeah, one crazy thing that that happened at an event? Uh, like what the craziest thing that has happened? Yeah, like some crazy shit, like like some wild, like someone started shooting traumatic. Yeah, experience. someone started <laughs> shooting at, at Colorado, but oh, oh a truck showed up. Yeah, but oh, I, I, I kind of always like, what the fuck is happening? Like I kind of like, I still was gonna keep on performing. It was hella funny because everybody was like, get off stage, get off stage, and you're like, everybody's like, just what the fuck is happening, bro. Like I was gonna finish my shit, dude. Like. I didn't think it was that serious, you know, but uh, my boy had a drone and we, we actually caught the footage of what happened and shit. Oh, oh, shit. And some fool basically like was tripping off some other fool and Damn. his girl was holding him back or some shit and he like shot up, you know, Shh. but like he basically just shot up, you know, and everybody like that's when the crowd started fucking everybody. Going Dispersing. Around. Damn. Damn, I kind of wanted to touch up on um, like how your how your life has changed, you know. Um, do you think that the the lifestyle that you have now, like, it was a hard transition? Yeah. yeah. Well, just before that, like, how old, how yeah, old are you? Kind of, kind of, yes and no. I'm, I'm 24 right now. <laughs> oh, damn. But, uh. Youngin. Kind of, but not really, because, I mean, I feel like I still don't really be going out like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just always in studio or, working. you know, just working. Like, if I'm, like, down here in L.A., I'm doing some type of business you know with the homies or whatnot you know i don't really go out clubbing or nothing like that unless it's like a special occasion mm -hmm. you know so i feel like i'm still living my life you know just with more bread now and Damn. i'm i'm able to do what i Whatever. want you know what i mean yeah, no, par no parties no i don't really like partying like that to be honest it's, i don't know i'd rather just get high with the homies chill you know because i'm not that turnt vibe like you know unless i'm on stage but like if we're on fucking like with, like if we're partying or something you know i'm i'm usually like sipping juice or something i don't drink alcohol so i don't get that you know like drunk vibe like i don't know <laughs> people, bro. some yeah. drunk people get hella annoying to me to be honest because it must have been like a really big change and you know being being so young and having you know as you said like all this bread and yeah. all this recognition all these things happening but i felt like thank god i was able to be mature enough to yeah. know how to handle all this stuff you know and not let like the fame go to my head or shit like that. Yeah, a lot of people say this. Exactly. Huh? Everybody tells me that, bro. How are you so humble, bro? How are you so this? Like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, it's me, you know. Just hustling, huh? And doing your thing. Yeah. Take a break. Let's take a break. break We're back from the break. Uh, sh big shout out to Ricky, the Tras de las Cámaras. He's gonna take over now. That'll Make sure the cameras are guys, good. We're gonna forget. It's like guys, dum, dum, dum. It's we, it's a, it's a, <laughs> ya estamos anxious, sentenciados. It's anxious. They brought a rig. Return. We're gonna take that. We don't I'm, really do it like that. I'm underage, and JD is forcing me to do something. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> no, I'm like fucking almost 22. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's, oh, yeah let's bring it in. It's a a, a, a derby. Darby. Can, oh, we, Darby. Uh, Darby. can we Get talk? Darby. Can Shout we talk out Darby home. <laughs> yes, sir. Could you like look at this masterpiece? Could you like break yeah, it down and like break it down? No, tell us no, nothing about is. breaking it. <laughs> I hope. Don't, what is, what, what are we messing with? Don't say the word break next to this. All right. No, that's crazy. Yeah, there's a little bit of detail. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> that's just 25k. No, this is more than 25k. Oh, oh fuck! Take my card. <laughs> I'll be in debt. That's Satanás right there. This is priceless. So guys, we don't smoke. So like that's like taking what? Like, I'm nervous. You said you said seven shots or just a shot, huh? Sh just one shot? Every second is a shot. Every second. Every is second. A shot. Basically, I don't know. Like I don't those know. Those who don't see. smoke really, like that. Like if you smoke a joint, low key, like in lamest terms and shit, this is like drinking a beer, right? If you take a dab, that's like taking a shot. Like you know, <laughs> alcohol. Sort of like, like the same thing, but intensified. I, I mean, I can handle a shot. Tampoco. But this is this is the, yeah this, this is, is something the, different the purest form of THC right as he said earlier during the break mom no hacemos esto pero es para los views that's like mezcal fu five like, six hey shots. this is like this is like the mezcal with a gusanito on the bottom yeah, we got that right <laughs> like mezcal can you bring the, the turf my heart's already okay guys that's worse than tequila yeah, little tools and shit okay I wish oh, you guys could see this whole like fuck. pelican thing I black out with mezcal fu now imagine me with this I gave him to you didn't I in honors of herencia de pantrones right coming there, no? through on here I know. to the podcast it's only right. Well, I don't know if it's right. Yeah, and I we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, and I haven't said much because I'm a little. Yeah. Angel has experience. I'm, I'm fangirling. Angel nothing. has experience. I'm fangirling right now. Damn, I can't do caffeine. I'm nervous. I, I stop. I stop. No like, trust. Like you guys are gonna wish I I, I try to stop you guys. Nah, 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 nah. Thank you, Miguel. But we're gonna Where's take a, a dab and we get to ask one very juicy question. Oh yeah, this is that's the that's the yeah, new oh. category. What is it, Angel? Categorize it. 
of what? It's a juicy question. And then we get juicy But we should dab. ask the juicy question. Juicy question. And you'll dab. answer it while we take the dab because I don't know if we're going to remember. So we could ask anything at this point. Anything. We're going to take a dab for sure. Yeah. But. Bro. I don't I'm, I don't know what to say, but this is for you guys. I'm coming out of retirement. Hey, you guys better fucking like and comment. Fucking I know. Share this. better watch that. I'm out here fucking watch smoking for the ad, like even if it's nine minutes long. I'm out here smoking for the first time in like in three 23 days. Three years that I've been born. I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a baby dab. Some life. small sound like super low temp. Uh-huh. Tell me you're really gonna be able to just taste. You know you're not gonna die for it. All right, can't do he's doing this right. The next day, the next, the next second, that motherfucker with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> no, 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 this is nothing to fuck around with. I'm be like, bro, oh, like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck it, you know, la vida. Oh, we are about to pop some lean too, so. That's just water. I saw si pilas. <laughs> Double cup it. Al- yeah. That's alcohol. Yeah, this is huh? alcohol. It's ninety nine percent. I just put it in this because we didn't have ninety nine. Dan, can you walk us through the process? So you know, like we're doing a ritual. Just, it's just like the rig and it has a little water inside already? Yeah, that's uh there's distilled water. Oh, you, gotta, water. you gotta use different type of water. You can't just uh, use like bring the knife. water it's or right even there. Like, yeah. Yeah. because like water one, one thing I've learned from uh what is it? Heady heady people? I don't know how to Yo, say that. Shout out the boys. Shout out the heady boys. Shout out the heady boys. Is that they have like a very special like process. It's like if it's not done this way, it wasn't right. It's not like Maybe people that like rolling, like it, who cares if it's a paper, a joint, or an apple, right. whatever. Nah, like this I ain't here, gonna lie, there's some nasty ass dabbers, bro. It has to be like the right temperature. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, bro. There's some nasty ass fucking dabbers, bro. They got some fucking shit that's black. Yeah, like all black and shit, bro. You'll never see none of my slippers like that. <laughs> never, gonna bro. Go viral, like. watch. Damn. Bro, we gonna be all over TikTok. Who, 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 who else TikTok? has content like this? Ain't nobody. Damn. Bro. The things we do to get the good content. I'll take the, the what is that? Of picking the stuff up. That's um, the their pieces, right? So then right here, this a little pelican case, I think. So now off that's camera, the, the, there's the, the, one that's like this big. It's like a carry on to carry the turkey with all the turkey. stuff. Mm-hmm. This that should go to the these, airport. These are called jars, huh? Yeah, and the torch. The little jars. Yeah. We got yeah. West Coast Alchemy. Yeah. Ooh, fresh squeeze. En que los metimos. Shout out to West Coast Alchemy. Sure. But those are the terms. Juicy question, juicy dad. Shout out West Coast. Shout out Happy Hashcat. Shout out my boy BTY. My dog Heisenberg. Yes, sir. Heisenberg. Yeah, Heisenberg. Shout out. I have no. someone else in here. Oh, my dog Heisenberg. Even scarier yes, name. Sir. Walter White. Nah, right? so, so this is a, a regular question. Not super juicy, so we don't have to take a dive. Do you, have you ever, I'm pretty sure people have reached out to you oh, guys. No, that's it. For sure. You're taking a hot ass dab. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you your first. Anyway. Angel. So. I remember my question. What's your name? Yeah. Super basic question. No, nobody knows my name. That's a, you know what I'm saying? That's a spicy one right there, bro. Oh, really? G- yeah, bro. G- you know my name? Is yeah. It, isn't uh, it on the uh, like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking with you. Hey, Still bro. With a J. All right, all right. I hope you forgot I something. Say, no, I was about to say, I forgot my pick. My, my question, like, what's like, my oh, name? That's a crucial part of the taking the dab, right? Yeah. Pick. Have, yeah. Have yeah, a or I'm you s- get a key or some shit, like whatever. Bro. Nah, keys for nah, something you need for sure. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you need the whole kit. My boy said, "Que co anden malos <laughs> pasos por favor, manden el mensaje que ya no anden eso." No, I literally have not. You laughed and you said, "Oren por you nosotros, did. oren por nosotros." Madre nuestra que está en el cielo, santo, santo nombre. Shit. We need it. I'm def- they, they look nervous for us. Look yeah. at them. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> oh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Guys, Ooh, please like, comment, subscribe. Shot, so we have a like, few tips under you. So we could get like a bigger space so we could have office. You guys could see their faces right now. Okay. They're like, oh, they're done. We have to they're go to done. a party after. Are we chilling? Nope. And it's a family party. Yeah. But like, Omar said we're chilling. Omar said we're chilling. We're in the middle of the freeway thing. We're fucking going to space and shit. Yeah. We be high. Are these not like badass trips or not? I'll put that. My, my, shout out my dog yeah. Pharaoh. Shout out my dog Pharaoh. Uh, he went to my house on his birthday to take me some Maniac stuff. He's the owner of uh, oh, Maniac, Maniac Customs. Shout out to he. He, he fucking he went to, uh, to my house to take me some stuff on his birthday, and I gave him a dab, and he fucking canceled all plans. <laughs> Bro, no, I'm telling Bruh. you. I'm telling you. you don't don't say that. that. No, we no, literally have like plans. Right no, 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 no. This, guys, you guys. It's because look, it's inevitable. You guys are not right. understand. You guys are taking it no matter what. Like you, you're already here. You know what I'm saying? You guys are already and you guys, here. And you guys got to see too. Like 
it's not every day we JD comes right. over. There you go, right, Angel. Brings I, over I like, his priceless rig I like with his that's what's priceless. Because Angel's not that type. Yeah, no, no, no. Angel no, no, like, stops us from everything. No, no, trust, trust. Like, if Angel's willing to do this, nah, then I'm scared. I, I need to put this into context for you guys. This you is know, usually movie. if you wanted to try this out, you'd go to like the store and buy like some cheap one and this is figure like your way through it. And it probably would have been like a nasty dab. But right here, you got JD comes over with all the flavors and all the jars and everything <laughs> priceless rig that knows what he's like doing whole process of it yeah like this is artwork guys this is artwork doesn't get you so fucked up if i don't come <laughs> out if i don't come out exactly. writing a song at the end of this dab i'm never smoking again <laughs> i better become a musician after taking this dab hey all i gotta say it's either gonna be the best experience or the worst experience of a dab. I'm probably just gonna be tripping out. Worse. I'm probably no, gonna be tripping gonna out. This is gonna like be a, the most memorable experience. Like I'm, after this episode, whoever comes on next, you guys gotta come. You guys Angel, gotta with some heat. that last time you you took a hit, you been you came to us crying saying you died. Yeah. So no, now yeah, I'm yeah, scared. but I'm willing to do it again. The only reason why. <laughs> oh, dude! One time, I, one time I I took a hit from a stizzy. And I was driving, and I started coughing, and almost crashed. He started barking. <laughs> that would become a dog. Oh, that time? <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. Yep. We're, in the, we're in the middle it, of a drive. Was it was like four, four in the morning. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic. Oh, hell no. They're making a game plan. We done, huh? We, we done, done. We done. We done. Just with that. Just with that. <laughs> I see that live. I'm like, uh-uh. We did. Let's have a family party. We have a family party. Bruh, you got a regular lighter? And <laughs> <laughs> hey, what kind of munchies do we like get after this, you know? He's already thinking about eating. You haven't even taken a dive. <laughs> yeah? I'm going to be uh, eating all the. I'm going to be right there in the party. Fucking, you should be straight with them making like carne asada and shit or what? Nah, oh, baby, uh, get to the if we make it to the tacos, look what this is. If, if we make it in Guess general, what that is. My head is still being dormido aquí. No mames, se pasa. No. You got Bob's burgers, come on now. No, eso ya. It's not every day. This is something JD I pulls, capture. Not every day JD pulls up with all this. Guys, we're on the episode coming soon. Y'all better like this shit because this shit wild and crazy. Angel, 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 porque habla de más. No, no, no es de más. I know. I know I'm going to get bad. Wait, there's like, like, I'm like taking the I'm greens. Hey, hey, I'll hey, take them for the team. I'll take them for the team. Ricky, me pasas unos snacks porque like I'm dead ass on empty stomach. Huh? Oh, yeah? Oh yeah, I'm on empty stomach yeah, too. Oh yeah, like like the fruit snacks is gonna save yeah. you. Gonna finish nobody's shit. Everybody's gonna finish your own shit. Uh, oh, give me cookies. No, 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 no. I think we can get algo porque si no. Verga. No, no quiero. You guys already got the monkey. Yeah, but si no, si no va a salir la. Doesn't it hit more if you're on an empty stomach? That's a myth. That's a myth. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. No. <laughs> I'm eating my snacks. I don't give a fuck. No, this is knocking y'all no matter what. Exactly, yeah. those, those little gummy bears ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm being optimistic. I'm being optimistic. This is gonna help me. Nah guys, this experience is gonna fuck us up, but hard imagine how many thousands of people out there in the world wish JD pulled up to their place and said Shout out to all the brand deals that, that we just got. Hey cookies, if you're watching this, sponsor because you follow us. Yeah, send us some stuff. Might we'll have it right there, the samples, but mm -hmm. no nada. The decorations. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't Wait, what kind <laughs> of that? Whatever. They're like different, like, you know, like indica, hybrid, sativa, or is it all just one? <laughs> yes, what? He's like, yeah. Different types? Yes. He's like, yeah, shut up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we smoking? Yes. <laughs> First time. Oh, like, no, look at He's this. like, what are we oh, smoking? I won't be yes. fucking <laughs> stupid high. <laughs> Indica, nah, Indica like, like the worst one. Dab like. me up and shit. I don't care. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Say, like, JD, what are we smoking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. You gotta Look. check the temperature. No, I'm the telling fuck? you guys, this is really? this what? is some real deal. This is the real deal. <laughs> uh, no. I never you guys, if you guys shit. do not understand what you guys are about to do, my boy, ready. I thought that was like to check Wait, the so drywall. Oh, you put it around? I thought that shit was inside. What do we just second hand smoke I'm high. it? Like <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Angel, Angel, I, I want to see Angel it, after this. It doesn't smell like... It because it's like supposedly the purest form of... Yeah. This is this is probably even healthy at like this point. like my car freshener. What you think, Echo? I'm scared. It's strawberry. Get it, get it, get it. Smell it. All right. 
I don't think I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, mom and dad. My mom actually watches a podcast. <laughs> Damn, my mom would have probably showed up and said, whole lot of what? <coughs> nah, mama, this is... The last time we took it on pre-call, she's probably going to be like, hey, no, my mom's give lit. me that dab. My She'll probably lit. take the dab with us. Very. Like, I just like, I don't know. Just for a little while, I was, I was just, every time I see my mom, I was like, whole lot of what? And mom would say, click that shit. You should have brought your mom and smoke her out. I know. Smoke her out. Your mom's name? Smoke her out. Huh? We'll get high. Your mom's name? Angelica. Shout out, Angelica. It's a whole lot of clique ass shit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Angelica, so you're going to be marijuana. Angelica, so you're going to be marijuana. This is the usual for Angel. Mama, it's the first time. I'm very nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. Damn. Is it going or not going? Let me know Angel. 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 Uh, I know Angel's a huge. A- he's Angel's why, a huge. Why be scared? Friend. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I'm not scared. Enjoy the it's experience. Fate. It's fate. Th- this this might not ever happen again. I said you asked the question right before you took the. Test. No, that yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. god. Hey, what's a good question? Yeah, I forgot we're asking questions. What's a solid I'm question? This is a hey, hey, like like a hardcore question. Hey, I got you right I'm here. out here just fucking. Okay. Angel, look at this. <laughs> yeah, does it hit right away? Does it take a while? Like hey, 30 seconds. Find out. You'll find out. We need it. We'll be like mere podcast. Like, no, no, 30 seconds. Trust. Yeah, I don't. I, I want to be. I, just, I say just take it. I like being spoiled. So Dude, the more I you took, cough, the more it hit. No. It's like smoking. No. Yeah. I can't even handle. I just want to know. So, <laughs> yeah, no, so yeah, I don't no, cough, you know? What yeah, if no, I like cough and then just fucking. Don't cough? Wait, um. I bet. If you cough, it's bad, right? Nah. Wait, coughing's bad or good? It, coughing is inevitable. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll oh, tell you that. No, don't laugh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. not to scare you guys, but one time I saw, I saw a video <laughs> where this guy, he took a dab <laughs> and he couldn't handle it. And he died? And motherfucker threw up. Oh, hell no. Dude, Diego's yeah, gonna, gonna throw up. Throw up on your podcast? They were gonna nah. throw up. And we nah. throw up, we getting that shit on the table. I don't give a fuck. I know, that was good. There's, go. <laughs> there's already a lot of videos of you throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> throw up on the side or something. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 before <laughs> we actually do it, should we like uh, let the cameras rest? Because <laughs> yeah, it'll probably been 20 So we can't minutes. risk this. Yeah, but I don't want to uh, risk uh, it. Like. This is already heated up. So it's okay. like 30 seconds, someone's gonna take a dab. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen Angel this happy to take a yeah, dab. You guys. Guys. Angel's, this, this is Angel's dream. If right Angel here. can handle it, then. Yeah, if Angel can handle it, we'll all if, handle it. If Angel yeah, can handle yeah. it. No, 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 I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Oh, if can't Angel handle can handle it, I can't. We can't all handle it. I can't. Trust, I can't. N- nothing. I need but shit. Every how often does like one of your favorite artists pull up and say, take a dab of this, and I don't know what Yeah, that's is. right. You're the guest, though. And there's Whatever like seven you cameras. Say we do. Oh, hell no. I'm about to die in 4K, guys. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Once I die, just split up all my big. You just could keep it. But it's crazy. You like have like a. What does that even call it? Like a <laughs> thermal, camera. Th- thermal camera? Bro, that's crazy. There's so much. Hey, no, that's a lot. That's a lot of whatever that is. It's a whole lot of what? It means I'm hot. You're dark. <laughs> <laughs> You're dark. <laughs> no, I'm not for you. Nah, I need one of those. Check my heart. No Why? comment. <laughs> oh my god. No, Bro, you, you, put, fuck. you put more than what you do. Give me a hat. Give me a hat. Look at this. What oh, sh- oh no! My heart is coming out of my chest. You want to just like do it, like inhale it? Put your big ass lips on the like that. We're gonna we're gonna play a piloto filoso song. And then I'm gonna do piloto filoso without breathing. Oh, angel, 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 angel. Oh, oh damn, you can see how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> oh hell no, I'm worried. No, I can't do it. Let that out, let that out. <coughs> let that out and then take a big big breath. Come on. Come on. One hit. Big big hit, big hit. Bruh. That's crazy. JD actually pure pressure sure, guy too. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like hey, what's the question? The juicy question. <laughs> what's the question? Hey, you gotta finish it before you ask that juicy question. Go. <coughs> no, I did. What do you mean? I did. Oh it's more? I did. <coughs> what that is? Just suck. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. 
You're almost done. You're almost done. I already feel it, dude. dude do like no. Because I was like, no. I was like half a second, so that counts as a second. <laughs> I never spoke. No, mom. Man. Yeah, hit. throw up. What do we get ourselves <laughs> into? Two second hit. That's it. Two second hit. One. One. No. <laughs> <laughs> I cleared. Uh, what the? <laughs> hey, you guys better hit it like he hit it. Okay. Nah, I can't man. do that. Hey, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, buddy? Way? So he took he took a big dab. That's the question. That's the question. That's the so question. how about you take you take a dab, like nah, as this big as the dab I take? How about that? Nah, nah, nah. Body nah, weight, nah. body weight, body weight, body weight, body weight, body weight. Nah, now I put it like that, it did not make sense. That's what I thought. All you guys are getting what? served right. up the what? same. What? <laughs> so why why did you guys? All think? you guys are getting served up the same. Damn, what? I, finishing your milk yeah, and everything. Nah, ain't no sharing. Ain't no sharing. sharing. Nah, I'm serving individually. I can't do it. Dude, you guys don't hold know. Hold on to the question, my boy. That's I'm the question. Generous. So why, why did you guys take? Why you guys take such a long break? Why had you guys drop music in a minute? Yeah, it's, it's, that's a good question. <laughs> man, man, we need an answer. No, boy. My boy, to die. That's all. How many more hits do I need for you to answer that one? I'm 4K. Yup. Yup. Ain't, uh, Ricky, camera's good. Time good. Ricky, just grab this, the this, grab the wheel, Ricky. This can't be repeated. Nah, there's just there's just been like a, like a couple of oh, problems, you know, like all right, he's getting just with like like uh, fucking companies and all this extra stuff, you know. And at the end of the day, I want to do my stuff independently, you know. So it was difficult to like try to find a route to try to go independently, you know. But we we managed to do some work some out, so. You know, everything's cool at the end of the day. And all the parties are cool right now? Uh, yes. Pretty much. Everybody's cool. Well, at least with me, I, I cleared everything out with everybody. You know what I mean? I cleared out everything that had to be cleared out. And, and what do you... What I had to do. So. What no, do no, take a dive. <laughs> <laughs> no free questions. Oh, yeah, you keep asking questions. It's good. I'm going <laughs> to serve you guys. You I'm going to serve everybody out for sure. Hey, but can you clean up these slippers real quick so I can serve them all up? Um, anybody, anybody that could clean servers. I need a slurper cleaner. Yeah. Designated mm. slurper cleaner. Come on. Angel, how you feeling? My dog. He's the I'm first one that's gonna he's gonna be the first one to take a dab when he hops on. No, like I'm gonna Bro. show this I'm gonna show this to I don't know. I'm gonna show, show this to my son. I'm gonna show this to my daughter. kids and I be don't. like, you better respect me because look what I did. I got like three <laughs> on the way. I'm gonna tell my son, you ain't got okay, it like okay. this. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> this this probably won't happen ever again. It's like once in a lifetime type shit. Yeah. We didn't even smoke when Legado came. No, they offered, they were like, oh, hey, they guys, were, I didn't want to smoke. To be honest. And I was like, nah. Yeah. Who's offered to smoke? That's Where you Legado? Yeah, a lot, dude. We just never really. We don't smoke. Damn, so you guys They're had to with that. You guys aren't with the smoking shit? Well, with me, you are for sure. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> They're into the drinking. And nah, we, like, we like to drink. Can we take shots instead? Yeah, nope. can we take shots? Nah, nope. dude, right, look, trust, what's it's a that? special. It's a special thing. Nope. You, you take. Hey, bro, I'm on your show today, all right, bro? I bet. So today we going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'll take a big ass This is what, we doing, this is what we doing today, okay? Just today, just for today. <laughs> Tomorrow you could drink a whole bottle if you, you want. You guys ain't passing the vibe check right now. I, I already I already accepted that. Come nah, on, boy. I'll take a dab. Hey, my dog over here is a straight champion. Take that like a champ. Guys, come on. I need you to see Sam over down. here on the left field, you feel me? I got you. I'm a shog. After. I'm really shog. I know. I Keep never asking questions, Angel. My body's that's the reason why. So you took this. what happened to that wood? Oh, you pass it to them or? Oh yeah. So just hit that. How many how many dabs do you need nope, to? You can hit that and the derby. How many dabs does it take for you to like feel like holy You're shit? Right. I'm fucked up. It depends. It depends. Like one. To start the day. Wait, what? Start the day? Because sometimes like you Wake take like one hit to like taste your shit, right? Taste the terps, and then you take another hit to fuck you up. And if that hit don't fuck you up, then you take another one. You know what I'm saying? And if that shit don't fuck you up, then you take another one <laughs> till you feel right. You I know? feel right. So to answer that question, okay. till I feel right, you know. I guess. You have one right as there. As much as it takes, yeah. That's why I have hella slurpers and everything just ready, you know. Because to be honest, it's the best way to get high. Like, I mean, I don't fucking, I don't know how to roll up <laughs> and fucking smoke a whole wood to feel some type of way, you know. I'm like already feeling like that just with one hit. Yep, yeah. one hit. So what it does the like job. Your first time smoking. 
Shit, it's been a minute. <laughs> no, no, like my first time. <laughs> like, what if it's like, like my first time smoking? This is your first time smoking? Yeah. I'm gonna get it you ain't though. You're gonna be good. Don't worry about it. Lil. Yeah. You trust? Lil. You guys are letting me you down right good. now. Yeah, I didn't. They're say cleaning it. Relax. Cleaning. Once it's clean, we say. And but I'm nervous. JD, how long does your high last? Uh, I don't think uh, it goes down. That's a good question. To be honest, I'm high. Every, I'm high all day. You're high all day. Yeah, like it's just something that we just got gotten used to, you know. How much do you spend on I was gonna ask weed that. and wax and? Lately, to be honest, I don't. I don't really spend. Like I do it the smart way, you know. Like I got. I got way? talent. I got talent, so I could. Collab. I could get my. I could get my stuff for. You know, basically for the F, by giving other people something they want. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Like, that doesn't involve money. You know, like, I don't, mm-hmm. like, I don't need money for that. So I haven't been spending really money on, on tree like that. But, I mean, when I do, shit, probably, like, tops. To be honest, tops that I'm paying, like, and this tops, tops for I'm paying for weed is 500 an ounce. Oh, shit. Yeah. But, like, other than that, I don't know. I don't I don't really be smoking all that other... Trader Corrido for... Like, overpriced stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I usually stick with the homie shit because the homie shit is really, like, hidden, hidden. Like, for real, for a 10-10. It's shout hitting. out my compa Gelati and shout out my compa Heisenberg. Shout out my dogs from Pressure because they're really doing it for sure, you know? Yep. I, yeah, your guys' stuff works. And in, I know you're you're into, like, the whole smoking culture. It? Oh, shit. Um, are there any brands that reach out trying to work with you guys? I know you just said that you work, um, you smoke your your homie stuff, but are there ever any yeah, other there, brands out there? There's other brands too. Uh, shout out Bustan, uh, Cookies. They they've reached out too. We're supposed to, I think, be doing oh. something too. Shout out Cookies. Um, that but they gave me some merch and shit. Like yeah. Um, I know that you, obviously your music career has allowed you to make like a lot of money, like. Would you um do you like invest in any type oh, yeah. of like businesses businesses or like maybe crypto maybe um real estate you know you, there's so much I, stuff to invest in to be honest I sp- I invested ten bands in crypto and I like I was like just not guided and shit or like you know I didn't take that shit serious yeah, like kind of you know just like going off the top of my head or what I thought shit was gonna pop off and shit so that didn't really go too well and uh well just other than that like the shit I got going on like with merch or stuff like that you know that's that's the other big investment that we have yeah but I, re- I remember you told me uh one time I was asking you about your merch and like how you ship stuff because I guess you know like I ship stuff like that too and you told me uh you know like about your sales and stuff and like yeah that motivated me yeah, I said that as like sure. my goal and I was like one day I want to do like that too no oh yeah, yeah. and who we came got, up with we got hella supportive fans you know that's God, dope bro, a lot of a lot of supporters out there that really fuck with us you know like <clears> show love like crazy every time we drop something you know, they're always on it. Crazy, like crazy. Like, our show always sells, like, mm. crazy. So, you know, shout out all the Hold people up. watching the podcast, you know. A whole lot of click shit. Y'all already know what's up, man. Yes, sir. Yo, That's stay what's tuned up. for this good music coming soon. You guys, it's a whole bunch of surprises. Any duetos you can mention right now? Uh, Yep. Fucking Hacendado, for sure. Uh, Los del Puerto, for sure. Um, Hermanos Figueroa, for sure. Um, what is it? Farmer. Palma, for sure. Farmers for show, uh, Fuerza Regida, uh, Calle 24. Oof. Um, Damn, that's gonna be fire. Oh, my, I, I feel like, oh, Hernan Trejo. Yup, real hitter. Any I feel English? Like I'm missing somebody. English rappers? No, not this time. Oh, Hera Mekis, my dog. Oh, yeah. We got a couple tracks lined up. Yeah. Shout out Hera Mekis, real solid cat. Like, honestly, like, they ain't really. A lot of solid cats in the industry like like that you know like since i've been in the industry i've met a lot of a lot of people and nobody gives me the vibe and you know like yeah the, the love and everything that the that the compa heramekis does so you know big shout out to heramekis and all his crew rich vagos this dude sir you all ready My sister i might get home super gone y'all got the munchies to relax with the Damn. for you <laughs> he's like me too <laughs> <laughs> we should get cool. We are. We live. Or we we live with we it. Back. We live with it. We're back. Shout out to Compa Ricky that tries las cámaras. Shout out to Ricky. Dalo who's tiempo. next? Who's next? Dalo tiempo. Let's straight to it. Who's next? Diego. Diego. Oh, you want me to go first? Let's go half and half. Pussy. Uh, Let's go. Away. Did he come Bro, half and I've half to the podcast? Smoked. 
Exactly. Come on, guys. We can't do that. We all can't right, right. I'll, I'll go, but like, if I can't finish it, you finish it. No, 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 no. You're finishing it. Like, what? Damn. Bro, if you guys don't get it together, I'm about to okay, go I'll again. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. No, 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 no. No bitching. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Get, get go. <laughs> We're all like this. Like, I just want an excuse to get the munchies. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. Yeah. Wait. yeah. Uh, ah. Yeah. We we we, we, we frozen. We frozen. <laughs> the homie JD's rolling up, and then we're gonna hit. The, we're gonna hit the rig. I already feel kind of weird, but I don't care. Se <laughs> pasa. El piloto filoso be the name Valencia. Who's the first one? Uh, no, actually, we'll answer it later. How long have you been smoking for? 22. Oh, I think my six years old. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, like, oh, damn. <laughs> damn. How'd you get introduced to it? Uh, to be honest, <clears throat> I got introduced to it at an early age, but I was always like, like, not against it, but I just, it wasn't for me, you know? I never wanted to try it or I was never curious for it. Did you get peer pressure to do it? No. I decided to do it myself. Like, I, I was curious to see how I felt. Yeah. I was uh, honestly, like, I've always, at the time that I haven't tried it, <laughs> I was, I didn't want to try it because we seen I, th you. I thought I was going to get addicted and then I tried it. and then You I got like, addicted? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, oh, I I Dude, what kind of story right. is this? No, you were. Come on. Not, you were. You were hooked. Kind of like, nah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah. 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 My boy laughing a little too hard. What happened to him too? Like nah. Shit. Nah. Bitch, I was your like, dealer. I'm <laughs> 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 Nah. But like, I tried it and then I was like, oh, okay. And then I stopped and then I got back into it and then now I'm off. And now you're back into it? <laughs> no, I'm not. What a, what a whiskey. <laughs> Are we ready? What is my boy? Who? A little, a little, a little. You want to heat him up? <laughs> El piloto filoso ve de Ney Valencia. Pero que That's no, so crazy, pero que no se pasen, story. no se pasen porque somos uh, so beginners. Who's the first one that taps out when y'all having a smoke sesh? Oh, that's a fucking good ass question. Uzi. Yeah? Uzi. Uh, who's you? Uzi. No, okay, it's just like being drunk. Uh, everybody pointing at you. Hey, right it now. depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. Let's be real now. Yeah? No. Is it that session? Everybody gets put to sleep with JD. Hey, yeah. nah, I'm just playing. Now nah, I'm fucking with you, my boy Bobby. He be putting up with me. Shout out to I ain't gonna lie. But if it's like a smoke sesh, like, 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 just like flower and shit, Uzi. <laughs> Uzi for sure. That yeah, you're weak. Dab. <laughs> nah, that like always just sleeps early. Period. That fool always just out early. Fuck. Damn, this is wildin'. I'm gonna remember this for sure. <laughs> Omar with the good heat up tech. Turn around, show the camera. Show right. the camera was popping. Up, please show the camera. Like, why don't you want to? Hey, show it close up. Show it close up. I show agree, happening. but JD said no. Wait, uh, you, you, how do you feel? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like, I'm, I'm pretty calm. I feel like if I think about Charles, it, Charles, you guys are chilling. You guys are just. Hey, drop it. You guys, drop it. Probably. Yeah, they're making me look bad right now. No, I already said yes. I'm waiting. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take one too. Shh. I'm already. Who's got one of those? No one got one of these. On Honestly, now. that thing looks so clean. Like, like I don't even know what it is, but like it looks pretty fucking badass. Temperature check. <laughs> you gotta wait for it to cool off a little bit, or something like that. Damn, that's wild. Then. Some light. Yeah, I tell him exactly how to. Oh, you gotta hit everything or also fuck up or what? We new to this game. <coughs> Blue Raz. Hey, hey, what happened? What? Did it, I thought. Never mind. What? Oh, I don't have headphones, so if you hear some shit, let me know. And right now, you guys, uh, check if it's the recording. People corridos, yeah, always doing yes. corridos. Yeah, okay. hell yeah. Um, What's I, the process? I just got, I just got one done for my dog Fabi. 
Shout out my dog Fabi Tres. He's the one that got me into all this heady shit for sure. Uh, I did a corrido for him, and you know, in exchange for a piece. And shit, that that's what really what started me off, bro. And shit, I've been fucking collecting hella glass ever since. You know, I just fuck with the whole um, the whole scenery, the whole feeling, the whole vibe. You know, everybody everybody in the heady scene is just, they're cool people. You know, yeah, I haven't met one dick or you know niggas that like you know be acting out of pocket or nothing like that. Everybody's cool. Not like drinking. No, nah, yeah, because this is not like drinking at all, for sure. Like, I don't find, like, someone crazy off dabs, like, annoying at all. You know, <laughs> I'll never find them annoying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but drunk people, like, yo. This is a pasan, huh? Chill out. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Me. You know, you know me pasa cuando estoy tomando. And, yeah, exactly, because beer's like an upper, you know? Yeah. I feel like everybody gets turned and shit off beer and shit, you know? Weed, nah, like you're chilling. You don't want to fucking be all doing all this crazy shit. Like what about lean? Is it like the same effect but like stronger? I honestly don't know shit about lean. It, I, it's different. It's a different feeling, but it's a downer too. So you just have a slumped. You just want to pass out. Have you ever mixed lean and co- I mean lean and <laughs> alcohol? Mixed yeah. lean and alcohol. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. My voice swears. No, he has. But you know, like, it's not, that shit's not healthy. I don't know. That's, it's really expensive. This period is not healthy, you know. Not healthy and expensive. <laughs> how much, how much is like lean? Right like now? Thousands. Thousands? Right now is, I think it's like anywhere from one, 180. One, like, it's anywhere from 160 to like 250. Mm. An ounce. Yeah, an ounce. That's that's one line. A line, yeah. Mm. Keko swears. Anywhere Eight. from there. Angel never met the old Keko. He would have been tried it once, bro. I'm be shut up. Yeah, like you fucking created it. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Doctor Seuss. <laughs> Doctor Seuss. And I know I noticed that you make a lot of custom clothes. Oh yeah, shout out my dog Maniac Customs though. He's the one that really be the brains behind the whole operation. I just give him shit that I don't want no more. Or I just want like. I like the material or some, and I give it to him, and he puts them on some jeans, and he puts it on another like oh, fresh ass jacket or something. So I have the matching combo, you know. Like, and I bless him instead of me going spending fucking money on designer clothes or shit like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't So know. that's why I like a lot of my clothes are just straight from him. So I be shopping more than anything, you know. Like if I'm not shopping out like like at a shop or something, I'm shopping with him, you know. I just take him my clothes, mm-hmm. basically recycle my shit, you know. Yeah. Just make it something, like, Upcycling sick. Because this food, like, got talent. Like, you take him whatever, and he'll make some crazy shit with it, bro. Like, he always, like, I, d- I damn near never tell him what to do. He always, you know, yeah. like, I'm going to do this for you, like, for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Nah, I've seen when I we went to go see Junior Ache at the Microsoft. Oh, wait, I forgot about your dab. <laughs> come on now, come on now. <laughs> Oh, those who had, yeah, those who had a custom to, suit. To Maniac, um, one time I sent him some bags and he made a bunch of hoodies out of them. He put like the M with babe. <laughs> hoodies out of bags? No, no, no. So he got hoodies and then he got bags and then he cut them up with, into like M's. Like kind of like the cricket thing. And then he stitched, stitched them on. Damn, that's sick. Yeah. Damn. And does uh, Mania like take special orders or is it just for you? No, yeah, he does. He does. Special orders set him up yeah, on Instagram. Okay. He does orders for everybody. Tap in with him. Uh, Maniac Customs. He'll fucking ship to you and everything. Shit, if the price is right, you already know, you know? Hell yeah. Like he's Pressure ready to work. Him. Where's he from? Loco? Well, 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 don't ask him questions. You got to get it ready. He's getting the ready. Yeah, <laughs> getting, the <laughs> <laughs> getting the ready. <laughs> he's getting the ready. Guys, you're still being mal. Ando mal, you know? Ando mal. Ando mas que mal. Uh, but this is going to be my very first time taking a D. So... A D? A D? What the fuck? A D as in dab. A D. This is the first time taking a Bro, you don't say it like that. You say dab, dog. You don't say D. You don't say my first time taking a D. Bro, what the fuck? How's that? Can we get get that from like all angles and, you know, TikTok, Instagram? Get the fuck out of here. They're leaving. They're leaving. Us two. Us two. Leave this one alone. Bro, I. Bro, okay, so okay, you're letting me down. No, no, I have the worst. Because look. already been having have, doubts have, about you. This, ha- this happened in the. You pull no girls and after. No, 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 no. Shh. This happened to me. Oh at, at no, no, no! I gotta ask. Danny looks something like that happened he, to me. Where he I, took a D, I guess. 
that but you guys were out. at a party together a little while ago oh yeah you didn't go supposedly you were... supposedly that keko was talking to a girl i no le creo. i was you were in san francisco no, I, no? I think I know, uh francisco. what's her oh, name no, uh, chui saw i think no he you were there, swears right? we're gonna need verification that's a lot bro honestly <laughs> you ain't seen nothing i think that's too much you're the most sober you one guys there Come on, guys. <laughs> that looks like my earwax. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Dude, that looks like my earwax. One guy, I my first time with a D. The other guy, earwax. I already, no, I'm know. taking it. I'm okay, taking it. The whole, the whole D? I'm just, I'm just trying to get over it. Me too. You the, the whole, whole D? D? <laughs> <laughs> Let's share the D. <laughs> Let's go half and half. No, come All on, right, guys. Come, someone come up with the question. No, you a juicy ass question. There you go. Oh, hold on, I gotta take a Hold on. Go again. Hit it up, let it out, let it out. You gotta let it out. There you go. Another one, you still got more. Right, let's go. Come on, hit that shit out. You go. Get go. Oh! Hit that shit out. Come on, you gotta go. Hit the fuck out of that bitch. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on, hit the fuck out of that bitch. Come on. Pretend it's a D. Pretend it's a D. You want the D so bad? You're getting the D, my boy. Come on, JD giving you. Come on, come on, come on. It's not every day JD tells you. Come on. Jason. Hit the D, fool. Jason. Hit the D, dog. <laughs> Dude, you can't let it go to waste. One second. You can't let it go to waste. Oh, oh, the go to waste. Oh, oh. Go, 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 clean go. it up. Oh, Jason, good. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> dog, my boy is good. Respects, Jason. Uh, for being your first time, you hit that D. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a stoner of the friend group, so <laughs> not much. Oh, not much in us. That's a solid question. That's a solid question. Who got like it? I, I, I cannot think right now. You saw over a solid question for the for the D he just took. <laughs> I'm fucked. Your question, wait. Your question. Your question. <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay. You need water? Another question. <laughs> Can I get another dab? Actually, <laughs> drink some of that one. Drink some of that water. Oh, I have water right here, wait. Just don't fucking... Now nah, you can say JD. <laughs> the D. Okay, I got a question for JD. <laughs> He's like, nah. I need a question. Solid question, Ricky, my boy. Before it takes over, stop coughing, and then you can ask me. <coughs> Text me a question. I don't know. Dude. He's just stopping a bitch. There's been a, a lot of comparisons with this specific artist. I'm pretty sure you know who he is. Tony Loya. Oh. What is. No. Your, <laughs> I thought you were saying it like that to like. I know. <laughs> what is your specific. Oh, what is. What is your honest opinion about this other artist that people could, I guess, compare yeah, we'll you to? But, like, I know you guys are. Different, but there's definitely some influence there. No, yeah, similarity. Sure. Honest <clears throat> opinion. That was a I good mean. question, huh? Hey, <laughs> that me up now, <laughs> now. I can see how people like would be comparing him to me, but I mean, I, like, there ain't really no comparison. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> like, at least with my music, you know, it's just like different, like compared to everybody's, not just his, you know. Like, he's trying to do, like, what I got, but my shit's just completely different, you know? I, to be honest, there's been a minute that I haven't heard his tracks at all, so I don't know what he got going on. Or. Mm. But do you guys respect each other as artists, as yeah. creators? Well, I mean, I got no problems with nobody. You You're know? just, like, doing your shit? I'm just on my own. Fair enough, fair enough. Like, I, I really be working just, like, with my artists more than anything. So damn near, it's, it's probably always gonna be like that too. And talking about that, um, what, <laughs> like, what led you to start HP Records? Yes, sir. Shit, trying to get a chance, you know, like, trying to give people a chance, you know, like that chance I got, but with something I felt was fair, you know, like, with me being, like, <clears throat> head of the head of the company. I, I got a lot to say and what goes and what doesn't, you know, like percentages and all that. So I try <coughs> to keep it fair, you know, to like, and like try to explain everything to the artist, you know, so yeah. they understand really what it is, you know, the breakdown. And I just like, <coughs> I'm here, I'm going to blow you up, this and that. Like, nah. So do you think that there's labels out there, you know, that reach out to these, you know, naive artists that, you know, are just starting out, it's just the nature of it. And they say like that, you know, I'm going to blow you up. I'm gonna, you're going to do this, do this just re-sign right here i feel like that's just the nature of it that's how people do it you know <clears throat> people that aren't artists you know what i mean but then when you're fucking when you're in the artist's shoes and see how everything goes you know you want everybody to 
you know be treated like like you you know like I, like i want to be treated good you know what i mean like uh -huh. like that's 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 all the motivation i need you know like a good percentage and everything that's that'll get me going you know what i mean so that's why i'm trying to get that <coughs> going for my groups you know what i mean like something that's good solid something i could work with something they could work with and we both work yeah. from there you know something solid enough too for you know the artist to be able to keep <coughs> dropping music and not be interrupted by you know issues uh, that may arise I need this no? or i need that like nah you know what I'm yeah saying? so no 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 problems, and no how problems. Like, <laughs> what do you see yourself what do you see yourself doing after music a lot of stuff to be honest bro like i don't know there's a lot of stuff heading my <coughs> way right now and uh i'm just trying to take advantage of it right now but shit weed uh clothing you know cars anything that could really be you know something i actually like i'm willing to <coughs> invest in and how was it when you found your first group like this was my first group there were no second group no nothing like this was this is it herencia patrones is the only group i've we've ever been in no like when you sign your first group to your record oh label? okay i oh. thought you meant yeah sorry about uh, that uh who's the first group <coughs> who's the first group triple l hermanos figueroa no? oh it's la one juniors juniors it was juniors best. what juniors the sack I, how am i fucking that off bro i'm hell off i fucking yeah uh juniors the sack but that's 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 the R though. I wouldn't consider that Your HP Records. Records. Yeah, who was the first HP Records? It was uh, no. Really? Eslabon was no. Eslabon was out there yeah. with with the R, and then he uh. left to Dell Records. We're with I think it was Triple. I'm pretty sure it was Triple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Alexis actually. Yeah, Palma was already like basically like we had asked them like okay like because uh, besides like everything else like they joined because of me uh -huh. you know what i mean because alexis i'm his cousin so you know i was right there and i was telling him like yo okay this is what we got going on over here you know and he was like all right like i'm down to go because of you know because i was there and a lot of the other artists that were in that company went oh, so basically are? yeah because of that reason because i was there you know like they're like you know and, we look up to him and yeah basically and yeah Basically, when I left, I told everybody that I, that was in there, you know, that I was with, that I had signed, that I had told, yo, this is my company, everything, blah, 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 this is what I'm running. I told them, yo, like, things are not working out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not working out. I'm going to do my own thing over here, HP Records, and I'm not telling you guys to hop over with me. I'm not, nothing. Like, if you guys want to, the door is open for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, the like the fucking the paperwork is right there everything's clear you guys know how the get-go is if you guys want to come over here the door's open if you guys want to stay right there there's no grudge no nothing you know what i mean and my uh the homies from hermanos figueroa and alexis and triple l or no i don't even know if triple l was signed to dr but um i think i think it was hermanos and uh, palma and <coughs> I had just named him. I'm hella high. <laughs> it was two of us. But yeah. Three. Well, how were they able to leave there if they Three. were under a contract with them? Because it was just like, it was just like, it was a big fuck up. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I like, I just, I didn't want no part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like too many people trying to get involved. Mm -hmm. And like, me being the one that actually, you know, has a word and everything, like, wasn't having a word or anything, you know what I mean? So I said, fuck it, why am I going to be here if I don't even have a word? You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people are hopping on with me just because I'm here, you know? Like, they're thinking they're probably going to get a dueto or something with me, you know what I'm saying? And I haven't even told them, like, yeah, like, let's get it rocking, you know? Yeah. Like, so, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> yeah. but I did tell everybody at the end of the day, like, yo, I'm, I'm going to do my own thing. You guys want to hop with me? You're more than free. You guys want to stay there? That's on you. And what do you look for in an artist when signing them to, like, HP Records? Fucking uh, consistency, um, motivation, you know, like, more than anything, more than talent is just consistency, really. You know, like, people are, like, more nowadays, people just want shit, like, like constant, you know? So we got a couple people that, that be generating like crazy like i'm talking about like fucking three songs a day you know so Damn. 
we got some consistent ass people in our yeah. in our crew for sure and that's what we look for you know because more than anything it beats talent you know like it could be like that one song that hits for you yeah but trust me if this was making three songs a day <clears throat> there's gonna be a fucking hitter you know out of those three songs every day especially if he's working every day just and that's what i'm looking for you know because i've looked for that like i've seen that in myself you know just the more time i spend with music you just learn these little like shortcuts and shit you know on how to do stuff you know eventually I mean? at the day make you better than the next exactly guy. yeah so, and, like i got a lot of artists you know like they impress me you know like with like just the amount of work that they get done and you know so little time like it's, it's yeah. safe, so know. saying consistency and motivation it beats talent <coughs> would and you look for that so you say that a lot of the artists uh lack that not necessarily lack it but they just they feel like they feel like it's you know like they focus too much on just that one certain track or you know stuff like that like they focus too much on one thing mm -hmm. when you could just be fucking like as a musician you could generate fucking a shit ton of shit in one day and just work with what you got you know just pick out what you like and pick out what you don't there's gonna be more tracks keep in the it, ball you know? rolling don't get stuck but yeah there's other people you know that do take their time on it on that song to you know perfect it but me personally I, I like doing my shit like really what i'm like what i'm about you know like i don't i don't gotta think about it too much because i'm already living it you know like i like I, it really takes me like anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour to write like a full song complete beat and everything you know with my group being there and like it, me having a beat on and shit or if not i'm by myself i'll still throw on a beat or something you know cook something up but really lyrics is nothing flows is nothing you know yeah. it's just it's just a point it's just a matter of you know being in the booth you know because one time I, I saw you say that you just kind of show up to the studio yeah oh yeah sometimes. that's how it I, always goes yeah. from now like i just like the other day yesterday two days ago i went to fuerza's pad too and i didn't have nothing and i fucking finished that shit like tops like fucking 40 minutes you know both songs we did two songs i knocked out two songs like two verses like that's like 20 minutes a verse you know like some quick and they're fucking heaters you know but this is already something they had they had flows and they had uh, lyrics already for it so i made my own lyrics and you know i did like my own little flow when not and that shit honestly them we got some bangers coming soon but that's usually how i be working like at least with my cats with my people like it's always like last minute thing in the booth we're riding down right here okay this goes sick with this because i like uh, there's always times where i give my like homies like little verses or they give me like little verses you know like it always just works like and it works a lot more faster you know but at the end of the day like i always go in and just get my shit done like i always like try to fucking just focus on that and get that done like and that's that like i always get it done hella fast that's why you know i try to block out everything else you know like, I try to put on my headphones. There's people talking or whatnot. I just put on the headphones, and I'm just, like, in my zone, and I'll really finish that shit hella quick. Damn, that's dope, because I honestly think you have, like, one of the most impressive, like, letras, bro, like, dead ass. Appreciate that, like, bro. It's, Thank it's you. super fucking unique and like, the way... No, it is unique. And you but, use words that, like, you don't hear in other songs either, too. I, I actually study the dictionary and everything, like, dead on, ass. like... Yeah, like, not really, like, dead ass study the dictionary, but, like, just if I vocabulary. like a word or something... And, like, I want to use it. I'll fucking look it up, and I'll look up synonyms and everything and study how exactly I could use that word to fit my shit. And there's a lot of times I don't even say words like how they're supposed <laughs> to be said in Spanish, you know? I say it judged to how I want to sing it, you know what I mean? Like, or there's even, like, a fucking bunch of words that I make up that, you know, don't necessarily mean, like, shit like that, you know, like, ladeando or shit like that, you know? It doesn't mean leaning, but, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it translates perfectly, so, you know? Or like just little shit like that. We got we got a lot in the future coming. Like a lot of tracks that I throw in a lot of my lingo. You know, just basically shit that me and my boys get. You know, like how we talk and whatnot. But I'm positive a lot of people will catch on to it. Yeah. You know, they'll understand what I mean. And, and you as a CEO and uh, like eventually, yeah. You have your groups and they have beef in between each other. Like how do you how do you um make that become like. No, Paul Raymond. Wait, you had a CEO. You haven't taken a dab. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you haven't taken a dab. Two, yeah. And two of your your groups you are heat fighting. Him heat him up. Yeah, hit me up. <laughs> now, nah, well, at the end of the day, you know, we're all grown men. Yeah. You know, like 
we all know what's happening. We're all a big family, and there ain't nothing going to be settled the right way if there's arguments going in between the family, you know? We all got to just stay supportive and between everybody, you know what I mean? If there's beef, you squash it. If not, well, then we got to learn something, you know what I'm saying? We got to figure something out, but... You know, when there's beef, there ain't no beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? And Herencia de Patrones or uh, HP Records, like, we we all get along, you know, in a good way. Like, you know, we've learned along along the way, you know, because, like, we've been at this for a good minute, like, with the same groups. So we, like, really learned how to, you know, like, stay together and everything and be supportive with everybody, you know, learn to understand one another. Cause it's difficult, you know, yeah. like being in a being in groups and shit. Like, cause I'm a musician more than anything. I'm not like a CEO or whatnot. You know, I'm barely getting the ropes about how all this hangs. You know, so I got my buddy Jay Valley, my boy, that's my brother, and my dog uh, Blatty, the ones that are really behind the scenes. You know, doing all the paperwork and all this extra stuff, getting people there, getting everything. You know what I'm saying? Like getting everything coordinated. But I'm just like kind of in there for putting the word in, or you know, like helping out my artists, cause. I know what it's like to be an artist, you know, like, and I could put in that word because I've been in this for, you know, a little minute or whatnot. But at the end of the day, like a lot of my groups are different. Not everybody is similar. So it is hard at times to like, you know, communicate that with everybody because we all have like a different flow, different verses, different all this stuff going. So, you know, at the end of the day, we all just try to keep it together and it works, you know. Yeah, like there's nope. nothing like at the end of the day, get uh, getting together and going in the booth like there's nothing like working in that like environment you know like it just like everything just the mood switches everything is just dope you know it's just music right there and especially when you get a good rhythm you get a good sum going and everybody's hyped you know like yeah. everybody's hyped for sure and what's a regular day for you like how do you stay busy and stuff uh well if it's not writing, like, in studio or something, like, I try to do something else that, like, gonna be productive for, like, group or something that's gonna generate me money in the future, you know, like, clothing-wise or just little stuff like that or, like, little uh, events that we plan out, you know what I'm saying, like, or little meetings, even pulling up just to meet new people. It's always it's always something something big, you know, because there's been a couple of times where I met up with a couple of people I, I you know, really thought, like, nothing was gonna pop off with and you know sure enough we got crazy shit going planned out and everything so you know do you have any hobbies like any sports you play shit i play everything really soccer basketball uh football like we we don't play it play it but you know like we could play it like it's nothing we like we're good you know like at any sport really like skating Fucking uh, like we like we could really <laughs> do it all like for sure for sure. Mm. Like Ascarita, no? Yeah. We'll play. Ascarita, four, four, you guys four, don't four. want. It. You guys oh yeah, four on four. Bro, we'll smoke y'all. Y'all can smoke, but we'll beat you guys. <laughs> 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 we'll beat you guys for sure. Damn, so you're Bruh. saying you got all the, you guys got all these like businesses going on, you know, saying like oh thing that something that makes me money. Um, you guys always had like this like hustlers mentality of you know getting things done. Yeah, well, ever since really, because I dropped out, me and my brother Raul dropped out. We didn't, like, go the safe route or whatnot, you know, finishing school and getting a college degree and all this extra stuff. Like, because I told him straight up, I was like, yo, I don't see what we want to be doing, like, involved with anything that has to do with school or anything, you know? So, at the end of the day, yeah, we just went our route and, you know, like, money and everything came the best way instead of us having to wait for everything, you know? But ever since we got out of school, dropped out, we went straight to work. Like, I went straight to construction, and he did too. And if it wasn't construction, I was in, like, in field work or just, like, you know, doing shit on the side. But... Correteando la bolsa. Yeah, basically, there's nothing like, you know, like, that hustler mentality as soon as you got nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got nobody to depend on but yourself. But yeah, you got your parents and whatnot, but bro, like, you know, we're you're supposed old to be helping enough them already. Out. Exactly. You're old enough already. So you got to be helping out your parents and shit. So as soon as I dropped out, I went straight to work, you know, and then but I was I was always consistent with the music. I, was, I used to play Requinto and uh, yeah, fucking I'd always be uh, first. I would be playing like Requinto and shit, like finding out shit. But then uh, I switched to the lyric side. And that's when I had my cousin Edgar hop on the group. And he was playing Reginto for a bit, and then we met Uzi, and Uzi hopped on. That's when he started making a killing, for sure. 
but I felt I felt it like we we just advanced hella more when when my cousin came in Edgar like because everything was just like I was just focusing 100% more on lyrics and performance and all this and then Uzi came in too and he just like bumped it up another notch with all these extra cuerdas and fucking like adornos and shit like all this extra ass shit bro like arpeggio like shit i've never even fucking heard about like yeah. shit you don't hear about like really like in this genre and any genre close to this shit and then like you see bro you see like just the wave that you know not just i started but my whole group you know like everybody like has something to do with how herencia de patron is formed you know like if it wouldn't have been for none of my people none of us would have been here right now you know what i'm saying like we got a lot of supporters and everything is because of that you know that hustling mentality like at the end of the day you gotta get it yourself you know ain't nobody gonna get it no, for you not waiting on that yeah. movidos so that's what we learned from a young age uh we we're always field working and you know like at fucking 14 15 16 years old so we we'll always just be getting money off like our parents you know just helping them out and shit but like once like you know you hit that 18 yeah that mentality you I gotta, feel like some you know, just your born mentality with you just got to switch bro nobody's gonna tell you bro you just gotta do that shit on your own you know you gotta be fucking responsible yeah yeah the, the, whole the, life the earlier you the learn school. that the earlier you learn that the more you you'll be set in life the earlier you the know what i'm saying like the faster too. for sure yeah you'll be more mature you'll you'll have your house you'll have your whips you have all your shit you know already lined up bro you won't even know it you know what i'm saying like it's what you're really working for at the end of the day you know so you just gotta mature like you know from a young age like yeah. she has something we learn at a young age for sure do people have that? Gecko's capping so hard, guys. He's out here doing like all this lingo, like you know, like he has a rig and he has a little pelican case. Angel smokes no and thinks nada. he's fucking. What's that for? Ching ching chang and fucking. He thinks he's <laughs> ching ching chang. Ching ching chang. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't know anything about smoking. <laughs> Yo, this is fucking crazy. Angel record this. Right? Right? Do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cocky ass. Damn. <laughs> Just get it. Get over the coffee. <laughs> it's gonna be where the water comes out. <laughs> have you seen the bomb risk? Damn. I can't believe we did this on the gusto, baba. This shit's crazy. Have, have you seen the bomb risk where like they like cough and then the water split? <laughs> Let's go, Diego. <laughs> I everyone finished their. Dance. This is for Augusto. That was bad. Oh fuck! Hit him again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> for si <laughs> All right, my turn. All right. <coughs> Juicy question. Come on. <laughs> hey, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine, my boy. What are you fucking asshole? Hey, no cussing. There's no more. There's no more waters. <laughs> Damn, we could, we fucking got high with a herencia de patrón, no mames. Okay. That shit's fucking <laughs> crazy. He only does the other things. Jesus. <laughs> what kind Angel, of Angel, Angel. <laughs> All of a sudden. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. His eyes are fucking bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Damn. Nah, All the items are props. Bad. Oh, uh, injured you now, huh? Ricky, are you recording? No. Dab it up again. Hey, I want to see y'all hey, take hey, a dab, y'all. Yeah, y'all yeah, haven't I think, been smoking. I think I'm going to step out so one of you guys could go in. Oh, yeah, I'll take one. What? All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, no. Orando prendido. <laughs> okay, we got so many such comments <laughs> over here. <laughs> we, like, 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 with the boys, like, and aprendido with the boys. We don't, we don't say that. He's the one that said about the D's. Like, no, but we don't yeah, say. But prendido, I don't know. Prendido, you already know what that means. So that like, lit. That was lit. He's talking about he lit. Yeah, we. All right, all right. My 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 question. Um, <laughs> can I steal your question? Dick. Now nah, you you ask your question. Fuck, I need a question. Help me out. Um, ask his question. Guys, don't do dabs. <laughs> <laughs> don't do hands some coke. I'm I'm faded. I won't lie. Coca Cola. I don't know how many times I said that already, but Bro, I've been, I, honestly, we should have done this earlier. I've been trying to take a dab like fucking three hours ago, and Dude, I'm my here heart fucking was the, last the whole time. Like, please, Dude, forget, I, please. I, I feel yeah, like every right. single. Omar, do you want to go on that side over there? Hey, let me stand up. Yeah, but Omar, dab me up. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. 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 Yeah
Yes, yeah, so you guys can ask some questions uh, too. I was like praying. Uh, I was like, God, let there uh, be an earthquake or some shit. And then hopefully they can play a song for us too. You guys See you guys. Bring, Bye. Here? He's hey, here. And that's, and that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Keiko, that's for me. How much for a corrido? <laughs> and <laughs> if he does payments. Do you take after payments? The bait boy. El corrido del bait boy. After pay with JJ. Hey, shout out, shout out to the girl that wrote uh, Angel uh, Corrido. Hey, Omar. <laughs> You're a dick. You're going to set him up? He's they wrote Angel up. Corrido. Angel, show your Corrido. Angel, show your Corrido. Ah, that's fake. <coughs> nah. Nah, they sent him a whole Wasn't Corrido. Yeah, Ivan texted me. What he saying? Ah. Hey, JD. Uh, I Ivan Cornejo said, "Tell him I said I'm a big fan, bro." Oh, shout out my homie Ivan for sure. I fuck with his music. He be getting he be getting into it. My niece actually is the one that introduced me to him, or not introduced me, but like to his music. You know what I mean? Shout out to the homie for sure. Keep that shit up, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> What's that? Next. More. Are you dropping more love music? Yeah, we got fuck. I got like a whole album ready. Is it gonna be a song where, where you sing again? Yo, another yeah, we got tracks too. Esta noche. Stacked. It's gonna be like that that yeah. crazy one. Oh, bro, that song when I heard it, it gave me some frío. Oh, like that. That was all written by my dog right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like I was trying to get heartbroken. Oh, that heart voice keeps cracking, dog. Fuck, like, I'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming? Now he's gonna double. We're gonna match it. I'm playing. Now, oh, you're gonna join the Navy? The nah, Marines. Omar's gonna take Marines. a dab right now. Be a Marine. He's gonna set you up first. Oh, yeah. Gonna get you right. That is crazy. I find it crazy when like shit like that happens. Angel was gonna yeah, join, but he's flat footed. Flat foot can't join. I know, I'm surprised. I know. You still got some big ass lips, though. <laughs> <laughs> he like hit the whole bong or whatever it's called. Nah. He, like getting held that. <laughs> Keko. What? It's not even ready yet. Keko volador. Bro, I haven't smoked in a year, bro. Keep your consideration though. The what? There's no big ups. I'm going to my mom that it's not. It's it was like worth it. Damn. Damn. Like, no, it's part of my job. Like I have to. I have to. <clears throat> yeah, she probably won't watch this one, but she does watch like. Oh. My shit. Hello. Damn. Hello. Oh. What's up Butter with that fumble? Come on. That is and you said you play all the. That's sports. what I'm saying, uh, bro. Like, come on, bro. You're making me look bad, uh, Omar. Shit. Try it again. Ah. <laughs> Take two. You hold it. Shit. Ruff was already high as fuck. He hasn't even smoked. I know. <laughs> he wants an excuse to have munchies and break his diet. And to end to end his diet. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> <coughs> hey, I'm heavy for you, fool. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Little ninja devil. It's not hard, you know? <laughs> I know, bitch. <laughs> you ain't got nothing, too. Ah, uh, what? Yeah. Nah, bro. Talk like, your shit. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, because they call me Keko. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's flat-footed, allergic to grass, singing choir. Kind of girls. Singing choir. Oh yeah, there's he's he's the scene. Your boy, oh, Angel. Yeah. yeah, he's the scene, bro. There's like a video of him. Uh, he was he he's singing in high school. Baby, you're a fan. He's allergic to grass. Have Never you been had a manly choir or over soccer. Uh, okay. Wait, how are you doing? Okay. But seeing Katy Perry? Sing some nice Damn. Oh, get cool. Damn. There you go. Look at that boy. He knows. Hey, but come on. Hey, but come on. He's the one that said it the best. I'm going to lie. I seen that. Look at that. My boy on his knees. He on his knees, literally. Go, get Make us proud. Make us proud. Go, 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 That's one, kill it, kill it. That's right, that's right. One more, one more. Go, 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 go
No mames, güey. Come on, Kiki. Damn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah, boy. Representing. Real smoker. Okay. Ah, perdón. <coughs> oh, yeah. Sheesh. <coughs> Bro, I, I didn't ask a question. I haven't even smoked. Oh, ask your question, though. Triple L. Chaga. Oh, yeah. Damn, I think this is probably like our best episode. Don't mind. Oh, it's like our best episode. Hey, you look white as fuck. I'm stoned as fuck. Really? <laughs> it hit like right then. All right, Michael, my juicy question. No, I'm just. Look, my eyes got watery every time I call. Like you look white. I saw my question. Did you say you started saying I look like a Filipino? Yeah, you started looking Filipino. That's my boy right there. I said I didn't smoke. Huh? Your sister's gonna watch like. <laughs> and then you're gonna take me take it down. Uh, well, we're old enough. The wood or the joint, whatever. Yellow. Uh, uh, whiskey, probably. Uh, sixteen. 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 Nah, I'm playing. Uh, twenty-three. <laughs> uh, twenty-three. I got some these. What? You're twenty-three. <laughs> Was the Who called me a dog? You? <laughs> no, I said you're 60 good dog years. Bitch. That's old as fuck. Yeah, I know. Fool's <laughs> old. Oh, it's down there. Take a dab, what I do? Oh, um, shit, I'm already fucking stoned. <laughs> Man, he already... Nah, fool. <laughs> yeah, he's keeping tabs on you. You got a question? Yeah, um... So uh, what happened with the like the situa- situ- situation? Nah, I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> what happened between the situation between uh, HP Records and um, Three Player LA? Well, they really wanted something that that wasn't there, you know. They were like asking for a little too much, you know. Like it wasn't like like they were they were talking like we owed them like a lot of money, you know, when it really wasn't like that. Like we showed them the numbers, we showed them everything, and in in reality, the songs that had most numbers behind them was the songs that were with me. You know what I mean? So there was like a split with that with Rancho Milde because of my side and Lumbre, and then HP Records. That's him, right? And then it's him too and me that we get the last cut. Mm. But like he was just expecting something like huge, you know? Like when it was in reality, we we're giving him what it was, you know? So, I mean, he wasn't happy, so he just left. You know, at the end of the day, we weren't fighting nothing. Like, uh, at the end of the day, I don't fight nothing with nobody. You know, if anybody wants to leave my record label, they got my consent. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, going to hold no- I'm not gonna hold nobody back. Like, at any point and moment in time, like, they want to do something, they can go ahead and do something, you know? Like, there ain't no point in me fighting nothing, you know? It's just going to make me look bad at the end of the day. So, and in reality, I'm just trying to help, you know? So, I'm not I'm not really trying to go through all that. Yeah. Damn, can you sing a song for us? Yeah, I can. I can sing a couple. But do I want to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can have to take another one. Oh. Now we'll hit a little bit of an exclusive track we got, for sure. Uh, a track I made from my compa Fabi. I've been having this track for a good minute, and uh, this song is. A Tight ass song, headiest song for show, sure. headiest song out that's gonna come out ever. Is yes, there? Mm-hmm. Slaps. Damn, we need to go to one of these shows. No, yeah, bro, we better get turned for show. Sure. HP, HP Records, Herencia Patronas, everybody in HP, everything that has to do with HP is gonna turn it up a notch. Who do you think is the top dog in the regional right now? Um, Shit, yeah, that's hard to say. Uh, I see a lot of people really killing it. Um, Luis R. Conrique is doing his thing. Fucking uh, Fuerza Regida has been doing their thing. They keep consistent, too. Um, it's a couple other people. Uh, like Grupo Firme. De oh, hell yeah. yeah, they've been doing their thing. There's a lot of people, bro, to be honest. You know, but like like me, I just, I, to be honest, I like mostly like really listen to like artists that I have, you know, just to see what we got working, what we got, how we can improve anything or just extra stuff like that, you know. I take it really 
like serious you know not just like the music behind it or anything like i take this serious i have some questions from fans and one of them from genesis bajo 209 said why did y'all stop drinking lean because mm. it's bad for you don't drink lean period yes, that shit is bad for you like, like everyone in the group so. like yeah everybody quit like that's not good for you that's just that shit is bad for you and you know what i'm saying don't do that shit because that shit will fuck you up in the future and you don't want that you want a healthy life you want to live a good life and a long life so just don't fuck with none of that stuff you know then another question nothing, nothing other than mary jane you know what i'm saying mary jane. that's right <coughs> that's mary jane bye bye come on now then another question from jay's underscore <laughs> eb what happened to them being on a drip were you guys gonna be in a drip on what el drip, el drip? not that song a trip oh yeah i think we were like no yeah i think we about. were there was one um <coughs> we were like at a recording spot and I, I don't know i just didn't record it there i guess i left you know because that's when he was recording it mm. he had told me to hop on but for some reason i didn't hop on like i don't remember what the reason was but i just didn't hop on you know like i had left or some shit or he had recorded it already or something but he had told me that he wanted me to hop on i said sick let me let me check it out you know yeah, but I just never, I don't know, we just never did it, I guess. Then Brandon underscore what the fuck said, how long can you last without smoking? And have you tried taking a break? Yeah, when I went to Mexico the first time. Um, was it the first time? Yeah, there was one time I went without weed. I forgot when it was, but I went without weed. I think it lasted like two weeks. Hey, 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 good dabs. But yeah, that was my tolerance break right there. I think I lasted like two weeks. And that was like it for me, bro. Like I came back pff, stupid high. Like I would <laughs> smoke on anything. I'd be fucking lit, bro. Then Playboy Siaga said, what was your experience with Draco the Ruler? Rest oh, in peace. Cut as fuck, for sure. Uh, one of a kind experience. It was a cool person, for sure. Rest in peace, the ruler really one of the greatest in my eyes you know to do it out here especially in the la scene you know yes, sir. or just period you know like just his, his style and everything you know like it's different you know compared to like a lot of rappers and a lot of people coming out or whatnot everything you know he do is different for sure so i wanted to track with him and you know once we were able to get something in and i met up with Kat, he was hella cool you know like so a real solid dude you know like i thought you know i i thought you know he was going to be like kind of stuck up or whatnot but Nah, he's he's real solid. Yeah, for sure. Is there a different process in getting a feature with like a rapper than like with a Mexican artist? Um it depends. Uh, I haven't really linked with a lot of rappers. But the people that I have linked with, they're like they're like they're all down with it, you know, mm -hmm. like um wait, what was the question again? How does it work or what was yeah, it? Yeah, is there like a different process like let's just say you trying to get a trying to start up uh, dueto with um, like let's see. Well, yeah, it's, it's completely different. Cause, <clears throat> like just well, the like the beat is like it's hella different already. Cause like by metronome and shit, we usually do like three fourths, and they do I think it's four fourths. So it's just like a different beat, like kind of how we did. Um, the one I did with Lumar, mm -hmm. yeah, like that one. Basically, that's like that could be a rap song because that's four fourths the way we did that song you know and i did it like because of that you know i was wanting like to switch that or, or you know to like a rap song or something you know because like a lot of my stuff i write it like low-key like rap but um his, yeah the process ain't too much different uh just they gotta agree you know both parties gotta agree to it you know but shit most of the people if not every person i link with they really got the style like that you know they really got it so it ain't really much to look for and ain't really much to like struggle with when you're in the booth you know mm -hmm. it just flows naturally you know and then do you guys have a girlfriend i didn't ask that uh purple, no sir the can thunder or some shit no, no girlfriend sir. no girlfriend no girlfriend but oh boy taking a real hollow mm, but mm, you know what i'm saying a little boot thing maybe Damn. no what sir about Uzi? <laughs> you have a girlfriend really Maybe a little boot thing, maybe not. You know what I'm saying? No, sir. A baby mama? <laughs> How many times I got to say <laughs> no, sir? Uh, 
How many people turned their backs on you guys before you guys blew up since they talk a lot about it? Since you guys talk a lot. What'd you say? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was confusing. <laughs> How many people turned on their backs before they blew up since they talk a lot about it? Turned on their backs? Like, turned their back? Yeah, like, how many people, like, backstabbed this type of yeah. shit? Yeah. Fuck. It's been a... Shit. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Um... That's it. <laughs> it's been a lot. Well, some shit, bitch. I'm fucking... That shit hit me, way. Yeah, it's been a lot, for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's just because... <laughs> it's mostly because they don't really know how the game is, you know? Yeah. Like, a lot of people think they know how how the situation goes and when you break it down to them they don't like hearing the result mm -hmm. so they have no choice other but than to get mad about it and fuss you know and that's that you know damn <laughs> damn y'all really y'all really got us fucking high as fuck yeah, <laughs> fucking that, that, that's crazy. Crazy. like that should just hit me right now <laughs> what's your wait what's your guys favorite song um like, like uh like that, that our song I mean. yeah mm. uh one of my favorite songs hasn't came out i don't know when the fuck is gonna come out but it's called uh <clears throat> a lo mejor a lo real hard as fuck i'm sick i damn i got a couple uh i like that fabi track for sure i like uh damn it's because we got hella tracks bro in the ball many, bro, like many. right now if i think bro i wouldn't able i wouldn't be able to like remember i gotta be in front of my computer to look at all the tracks but we got a shit ton bro Oh yeah, Ando Hero. That's a, that's one that's gonna Ooh, come that soon. That shit go crazy. Um, I think that's. Uh, or no no más lo que es. Fucking uh, what's the other one I had with Asendado too? Shh, trust me, bro. I got a fucking. I got a. I got an EP with Asendado of eight songs. I think that's fucking an album. If anything, we're gonna make it an album. But, bro, I shit you not. All the fucking songs are straight bangers, bro. Like, fucking, like, shit that you're gonna be like, yo, play that shit back, nigga. Let's go get some money to this song. You know what I'm saying? Like, that real yeah. motivational shit. Shit's gonna be some real go getter shit. Oh, and we got some plan with uh, Los Del Puerto, too. Like, another little EP. You know, like, we just been working like crazy. I got music stacked. Hermanos got music stacked. Palma's been working on some stuff, too. We just we worked up, you know, Hernan and he said, "Yeah, cat's always working, bro." He's like, you know, he's just really producing like crazy, like crazy. Yeah. yeah, we all got something going, you know. Thank God we gonna keep the year pretty busy. And since oh shit, since you pr you guys like produce and make so many songs, like, how do you guys choose, like, what song is gonna stay and which one's gonna go, you know? Cause or which ideas? To be honest, most of my songs stay. There's probably been like two, three songs that I've made that I'm just like, nah, I don't want to, I want to put that one up. Mm -hmm. But down here, all my music makes it, like you know, like cause I don't know, I think about it like, if I'm thinking about it at that moment and I think it's hot, shit, like a hundred, you know, a hundred thousand other people are for sure gonna think like me, you know. Yeah. Like so, I'm just like fuck, it, even if I'm not feeling it in a month or two, you know, like I'll just release it because even when you don't know, when you least expect it. That song that you released that you don't really think nothing of is the one that's gonna be doing the best. Look at that fool, hella high. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Oh, me, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's high as fuck. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I, so me in, low key. So the the last um. <laughs> so the last album that you guys are dropping, that's the last album with Rancho. Yeah, this. And then from there, you guys are like completely free, independent, independent. Yes, sir gonna be popping that off on our own you know like trying to do stuff like really just for ourselves but you know like as an independent partner you know label because i got hp records going still but you know that's, that's that's like our thing going on yeah but everything's already like clear with like rancho and stuff yeah now yeah we cool as fuck everybody we solid as fuck shout out jimmy shout out roque shout out jb yes, sir. Yes, sir whole lot of click i shit y'all know what's up man <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your question, Angel? Hey, you want to switch spots? How, how can somebody get it for real for me? <laughs> What's the price? You gotta be, you gotta be bands ready. You know what I'm saying? It depends. I might charge you fucking. It depends, like, like it really depends. What can you offer? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'll, I'll charge you for a car, 
Just or I'll charge you for some fucking cash. Or I'll charge you for fucking clothing. It depends what you got. Shit, make me an offer. You know what I'm saying? Like, go to the storages right now. Like, I, like <laughs> there's just shit. Shoot me an offer, and if I fuck with you, and if I fuck with what you got going and everything, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll I'll do something for you for sure. That's right, Angel. Get your yeah. corrido. You know, yeah. you know, you're the only you know artist that pays Angel on time. For real? Yeah, that's why he likes you a lot. No, that's my dog for sure, bro. There's been times I forgot to pay him, bro, and I'm like, fuck. I hit him up like, yo, bro. Don't you say, oh, bro, I forgot to pay you. Like, no, bro, it's good. Don't even worry about it. Like, no, what you mean, bro? Let me pay you. <laughs> like, yeah, he's always, uh, to be honest, like, most solid cat I've met out here in the clothing industry for sure, bro. Really like, nice. Real Sweet solid man. with it. Yeah, hell yeah. Solid. Like, for real solid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, free corrido solid. <laughs> Get him right on a cumbia. <laughs> Un zapateado. <laughs> Damn, Angel. Angel. I got me Angel some bait today. Huh. You gotta guess, give the him something song, in return. The second song. So you gotta give up, you know, yep. saw your kidney or some shit. <laughs> 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 feet. I think what we're trying to say is uh, Angel's goal is to get a corrido from you. Yeah, he hasn't done it. anything uh, like he won't harmful. He'll spider, bro. Like, he'll trap it, take it to like the nature and like let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's a sweetheart, that's what we love him. Straight to it. El piloto filoso bade en el Valenciaga. Sé que le gusta mi estilo y a diles que no se hagan aguas con la raza. Cambian de la noche a la mañana. No hay pedo, piensan que son chivos, pero son ranas. Digo sapos porque andan brincando de charco en charco. Confían tanto, quieren ser el capitán del barco. No pueden cargar con lo que el equipo anda cargando. Sin embargo, la presión no suelto es que me tienen harto. No, como protección la tengo bajo de la almohada yo. A la verga ya se me olvidó la puta letra. Nigga, no cap, I swear to God, I just forgot the lyrics. Alright, that song. That's just a little bit of that track. Yes, sir. Let's go on to the exclusive. The shit that ain't out. Eesh. All right? Let's get it. Fabi, suena dice más o menos. Un pedacito, algo lo exclusivo para mi raza. Get it. Los corridos que se van a venir próximamente. Suena dice más o menos. Come una pérdida, no más un tropezón. No hay pedo porque mi equipo ya sube otro escalón. Lo que ahorran en un mes lo gasto en un quemazón. Pa' que no se manche slurper alcohol con un algodón. Derrocho miles más bien invertidos en las piezas de vidrio. Si no andas hablando de feria, entonces tiempo perdido. Si algo tengo yo es que mi palabra es sostenido. Súbele a la voz sin herencia sonando en el sonido. Arte funcional, no me dele gastar. Cargo un arsenal, producto puro el material. Es algo crucial si es que me quieren llegar. Tomas 10 100 en las piezas, no más pa' empezar. Salió perfecta la mezcla, si me viene gustando lo compro ni un cuanto cuesta. No hay abolladora en la cuenta, los acabo de pasar ni un año tenlo en cuenta. Díganme o que ocupan si hay papel está a la venta, y les va un M30 para que se prendan azules en las bolsas y en el frasco quedan 70 multiplicados por 30 y si quieren hacer cuentas. Colección, oh, Eris es mi Abby, Müller, Lamparitas, Bluegrass y también piezas de Tarby, uy. Todos me conocen por el Fabi, Luis para pisar esto no son marca Bali, de paseo por todo el mundo, pero mi cantón es California. Hay nomás un pedacito, yes sir, coming soon. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty <laughs> crazy experience the whole fucking episode was wild crazy first episode of season two thank you guys so much to everybody that came thank you guys yeah, for yes, taking sir. the time you know the whole team uh wanting to come on answer some questions you know a lot of people have been like waiting for you guys you know um you know there's a lot of fans that we were waiting for new music oh, yeah. hell yeah bro and crazy experience too um you know just you know getting to see you guys perform live and 
Yeah, honestly, but, uh, it was an honor, bro. Like, as a fan, it was just dope as fuck. Oh, yeah, bro. Likewise, yeah, I appreciate fan. you guys, man. Thank you guys for having us here, you know? It was an experience for sure. This is, like, our first, like, really official podcast, you know, that's really about us and shit. So, you yeah, know, yeah. it's something special for sure. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. And <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you guys watched all the way to the end, damn, thank you guys. Real ones. Yeah. And nos vemos episode two. We're coming Peace for Peace out. Venimos con todo. Come on. <laughs>